Ayan, good afternoon po everyone and welcome to our um, Saturday edition na naman po ng ating free webinars. Pasensya na po kung medyo mukhang arag ako. Kakatapos lang po namin ng HR Bootcamp Batch 14. So congratulations po Batch 14 for completing the two-day webinar. Um, yung assignments po, wag kakalimutan and I hope you learned something and you enjoyed our session itong nakaraang two days po. Napatunayan ko na ang mga HR talaga ay napaka-competitive. Ayan, ang saya-saya po kanina. Ang saya-saya po, actually yung two days po na yon na kami ay nag-HR bootcamp ay filled with learning and napakasaya naman po talaga. Napaka-game din naman po kasi talaga nung ating mga attendees kanina. Ayan, kaya nag-enjoy po ako ng sobra. Ayan, muntik na tuloy ako hindi makasama ngayong pre-web uh, dito sa ating pre-webinar. So again, Good afternoon po everyone and for this afternoon we will be discussing how to sustain engagement amidst the prolonged quarantine. Alam ko marami nagtatanong sa inyo paano nga ba natin i-ensure na at this point engaged pa rin po mga empleyado natin kasi huf, ang tagal lang yung iba naka-work from home, yung iba po ay naka-work sa office pero hindi po talaga nagkakasama-sama lahat ng tulad noon. Hindi tayo makapagkaroon magkaro hindi tayo nagkakaroon ng events na talagang lahat ng employees ay magkakasama. Pino problema pa natin ng Christmas party. Paano nga ba gagawin to? Anong gagawin natin? So, marami pa po tayong questions pagdating po sa employee engagement at napakaganda po ng topic natin. This afternoon, talaga naman po makakatulong para sa lahat po ng mga nagwa-wonder paano ba namin i-maintain ang aming employee engagement kahit na po pandemic, kahit magkakaiba po kami ng pinapanggali pinapanggalingan. Uh, iba naka-work from home, yung iba naka-work from the office. Paano po ba yon? Okay, but before that, of course, sa mga bago po dito, um, introduce ko lang po sa inyo si Uprush. Uprush is, is an, bubulol na ako, Uprush is an HR solutions and services provider. We do manage recruitment service. We do manage payroll service. We also do in-house and public workshops and seminars. We do HR consultancy and we also provide HR toolkits. Toolkits po yan, ha? sobrang tayo sa S. And we also do salary surveys. We have just recently launched our 2020 salary survey. So if you would like to be part of it, just let us know po. If you would like to be a participant and enjoy discounts po, um, you can do so po. Ang amin pong salary survey ay isa po sa mga pinakamababa sa market. So if you're interested, ay matutulungan po namin kayo dyan. Okay? Of course, hindi pa rin naman po tayo nakakalagpas dun, sa, dun po sa naging epekto ni um, Ulysses. So kung gusto nyo pong tumulong sa mga kababayan po natin sa Cagayan at sa iba po pong mga kababayan natin na naapektuhan po ng bagyong Rolly, Quinta at Ulysses. Okay? Um, ang approach po ay tumatanggap po ng donations in kind and in cash. Um, you can coordinate with us, send us a message po dun po sa aming Facebook page para po masabihan namin kayo kung paano po kayo po pwedeng mag-donate. Okay, donations of all kinds tinatanggap po natin. Uh, meron na po tayong mga nakakausap na mga non-government agencies and we are coordinating with them on how we can ensure na ito po mga donations pong ito ay makakaabot po talaga dun sa mga nangangailangan. Ayan po. Okay po. Sa mga nagwa-wonder, nag-start na po ba? Yes po, nag-start na po tayo sa webinar. Kung kayo po ay napapanood niyo na, nakikita niyo na ang face ko. Uh, nag-start na po tayo. Um, yung mga magtatanong po, alam ko na po ang itatanong nyo. Uh, meron po bang certificate? Meron po, pero you have to wait until later para i-discuss po kung paano yung po kayo makakakuha po ng certificate. Okay, um, if you have undergone any of our HR Bootcamp, we would also like to invite you to be part of our HR Bootcamp Masterclass Batch 1. This is happening on December 12 and 19. If you're interested, po, take out your phone, do a quick scan of our QR code here right now, and um, uh, yun po yung magdadala po sa inyo doon po sa registration form para po kayo makapag-pre-register sa aming pong HR Bootcamp Masterclass Batch 1. Ayan, Batch 1 po yan. Initial batch, kaya mas masaya yan. Usually, yung mga first batches po natin ang talagang super fun field po. Okay? So, yan po. Uh, we also have a webinar happening on December 9, Managing Your Team's Performance. If you're interested po, scan lang po again ng QR code para kayo po ay maka-attend. Okay? Yung mga nanonood po right now, make sure you watch out po for the codes. We have three codes, tulad po ng dati. We will be displaying three codes. You have to get those three codes correct and the answer to the question correct in order for you to get the certificate. Pag mali po yung code or mali po yung sagot or mali po pareho, wala po kayong makukuha ng certificate. 
for those who are um yung mga oy may mga nakikita ko umattend ng HR bootcamp kanina watch out lang po kayo dahil meron po kam kaming mga additional discounts na ibibigay para po dun sa ating mga upcoming webinar ayan okay if you have missed any of our past webinars or would like to check out our episodes of HR Bites, hindi po na siya nadagdagan, um, pwede po kayong pumunta sa aming YouTube channel. You can go to our YouTube, dan YouTube channel by uh, scanning the QR code that we have right now. Dadalin po kayo niyan, diretsyo po sa amin po YouTube channel. Okay? Okay. So may mga discounts po tayo. Um, na ino offer actually so mga umattend po ng HR bootcamp if you have attended any of our HR bootcamp okay uh, kung kayo po ay nakatend ng aming HR bootcamp at magdadala po kayo ng isa pa po isa pang attendee for the HR bootcamp masterclass so kung dalawa po kayo meron po kayong 10% discount okay so kayo po, yung kung sino man yung original, meron po kayong 10% discount. On top pa po ito sa kung ano man yung napanalunan yung discount kanina po sa HR Bootcamp. Okay po. So yan po, tandaan po natin, meron pa po kayong additional na discount. Okay po. Ayan. And then we would also like to let everyone know that we have just recently launched our training on demand service. Ano po ba yung training on demand service? Ito po ay yung mga uh, popular topics po namin outside po of HR Bootcamp, yung aming X MS Excel for HR Professional, Basics of Payroll Processing, at saka po yung Understanding Mandatory Benefits, ino-offer na po namin siya on demand. Ibig sabihin, depende po sa schedule nyo. You can take it on one day or pwede po nating i-break down yan into one hour each per day. Bahala po kayo kung ano pong iaalaw ng schedule nyo. One-on-one -on -one session po ito. So instead of waiting for the public webinar, you can actually request a uh, training on demand. Mag-isa lang po kayo doon. Tututukan ko po kayo. Uh, Iisa-isahin po natin yung mga topics na yan. Okay? So kung interested po kayo, just send us an email, send us a, face a message on our Facebook page, and we will give you the details on how you can avail of the training on demand service. Mas maganda po ito kasi... Um, Sure kayo na po pwede tayong mag-slow down or go fast. Depende po sa kung gano'ng kabilis yung mag-get yung concept. At um, hindi ko po kayo bibitawan hanggat hindi nyo talaga na memorize. So kung gusto nyo pong paduguin yung ulo nyo pagdating sa basics of payroll, iisa-isahin po natin yan. Lahat po ng combinations na may isip natin for payroll, didiscuss po natin yan. So yung litong-lito kayo na double holiday, falling on a rest day and a special holiday, magiging chicken feed na po yan sa inyo. Okay? Yan. You want to be a sponsor at gusto nyo pong may feature sa amin pong webinars, just let us know. We offer sponsorship packages po. So we have um, yung ating pong co-organizer. It's a 5,000 uh, gold sponsorship po. is a 2,500 and silver sponsorship is at 1,000. If you are interested, send us an email and we will send you the details. Okay po. Ayan. Naku, napakagwapo naman po ng ating speaker for today. Hindi nyo po siya kilala. Dali, introduce ko pa lang po siya. Okay? May nagtatanong lang po. So, how many hours po yung one-on-one -on -one session? Yung buo pong session ay six hours po, pero pwede nyo po siya i-break down. So, po, pwede siyang two hours for three days or one hour for six days. Okay? Depende po yan sa schedule nyo po. Okay? Depende sa availability nyo at sa availability ko rin po syempre. Kasi baka naman po meron tayong webinar. So, hindi ko po mahaharap. Pero, mag-meet po tayo halfway na kung ano po yung schedule na meron tayo. Okay. Hi Miss Ann. Hello po. Ang ah, nakita ko si Miss Ann sa ating um, comment section. Siya po yung ating speaker last week at talaga naman po ako nag-enjoy naman po ako doon sa um, doon po sa ating Bali Taktakan last Saturday. Okay? Bago ko po i-introduce ang ating speaker for today, nako pasensya na po kayo kung medyo nawawala ang aking boses. Lumalaki na po ang aking leeg. Uh, mahirap po maging uh, speaker facilitator sa mga webinars, uh, ang ating pong puhunan ay ang ating voice box. Yung voice box ko po ay gusto nang magwelga. Okay, so good afternoon po muna sa lahat po nang nandito right now. Good afternoon kay Miss Jenny V. Asman, Miss Kate Ermela, Miss Rose Pucol. Uy, good afternoon again. Si Miss Rose po ay isa po sa mga usual na umaattend po. Lately na madalas ko nakikita yung name niya. Miss Lucia Villamore, Miss Eva Argal, good afternoon. Alexine, good afternoon po. Miss Tina Palangka, good afternoon po. Miss Ellen Gonzalez from Batanga City, good afternoon. 
Esther Mariguerera is also one of our regular viewers. Good afternoon, Esther. Good afternoon, Rian Badilio, Rex Abenoha, Sir Paul Espinas. Isa po, isa po siya sa mga partners po natin and co-organizer po today. Um, kung kayo po ay naghahanap ng platform on how you can engage your employees, micro-learning po, hindi po sila mag-burn out sa pag-aaral at sa pag-aalam po ng mga new topics. Make use of move up, get in touch with Paul. Mamaya po i-display ko po, uh, ipapakita ko po yung video nung kanila pong platform. Napakaganda pong platform if you would like to add um, skills or learn new skills and learn new knowledges po. Ayan po, pieces of knowledge. Or kung naman yan. Ms. Tina Palangka is saying hi from Cavite Province. Ms. Janet Conrado, good afternoon din po. Vance Narciso, good afternoon. Good afternoon din kay Florentino Asuncion. Ms. Maricel Aya, good afternoon po. Jessel Salvador at lahat po ng tinag niya, good afternoon po sa inyo. Ms. Maricel Leoncito, Ben Aure, good afternoon. Mega SDRO, naku, yan po ay walang palya. Palagi po yan nasa ating webinar. Umaaten po yan palagi. So good afternoon po. At hindi ko ngayon, hindi ko pa rin alam ko ni full name niya. I am so sorry. Ms. Jasmine Nolos, good afternoon po sa iyo. Ms. Maricel Leoncito and Pauline Diba who's watching from Iloilo. Aba, ang layo po nito. Good afternoon po. Ms. Maylene Mendiola, good afternoon. Nakatag si Kathleen Doliente, good afternoon po sa inyo. Shenta Pasyon, good afternoon din po. Audrey Magistrado, Emma Velasco. Renz, ayan si Renz. May energy ka pa rin, Renz. Hindi ka pa ba nadadala kay Peter? Okay, nandito pa rin po si Renz ngayon. Buhay pa po after ng aming discussion tungkol kay Peter kanina sa HR Bootcamp. Pauline Liba, good afternoon. Regine Castillo, CJ Ablay, May Ontuwa, good afternoon po sa inyo. Jalu, Saiki, naway hindi ko na murder yan. Good afternoon po. Regine Castillo, Deline, Gira, uh, ang daming tinatag ni Regine, naulit ko tuloy siya. Miss Joanne Tunak, ayan, isa pa po. Meron pang energy, kaya natin ito. Kahit na po oh, umiyak na kanina, nag-iyakan tayo sa computation. Good job naman po at nandito pa rin po kayo. Miss Jackie Manalo, R.A. Lamparas, Christine Corsega, Jasmine Nolos, Marian Loveres, Jen Garcia. Good afternoon po sa inyo. Daniel Farmanes, good afternoon. Penny Lane, good afternoon. Isa pa rin po yan sa mga um, usual natin dito sa ating webinars. Namiss ko tuloy bigla si uh, Lee Lirian Lear. Meron tayong isang uh, attendee na parang hindi ko na madalas sa Ms. Lerma Castillo from Carsigma District Hospital. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Jane Redado. Shelmy, um, oops, napabilis po. Ayan, si Alexander po. <laughs> Uy, alam ko na yung first name mo, Alexander. Yung last name mo nakalimutan ko. Sulweta, di ba? Alexander Sulweta Jr. Okay. Yon, alam ko yun, yun. Okay. Sharon Oliveros. <laughs> Ay, sorry. <laughs> Sorry po, Miss Mega SDR. Miss Sharon po. Si Miss Sharon actually ay umaten na po ng paid webinar namin. Tapos palagi ko nakakalimutan na siya yun. I am so sorry. Okay po. And si Sir Alexander Zulweta, kung hindi po ako nagkakamali, good afternoon po. Kay mo malasag, from, watching from Zamboanga City. Uy, good afternoon po. Um, good afternoon po. Um, Kim Limpa, good afternoon po. Intermittent po yung connection ko, ma'am, pero I'm here po. Oy, good job. Um, good luck, uh, good job, Renz, at good luck sa ating internet connection dahil kanina pa po natin, actually kahapon pa natin nagiging problema yan. Away, mag-hold ang connection. Ayan. So tama naman po palang pagkakatanda ko. Good job ako. At naalala ko yung pangalan niya kasi lagi ko nakakalimutan. Miss Jen, to mm. ay, tumasik yung candy ko. Miss Jen Torrente, kung may nakita man po kayong parang tumasik candy lang po yun. Ms. Jen Torrente, good afternoon po. Good afternoon, Ms. Kathleen Doliente. I miss you po. Uy, natouch naman ako. Ms. Uh, good afternoon kay Farid Akunanan. Buenos dias din po. Uh, good afternoon po. If I remember correctly, si Farid is watching from Zamboanga. Kung tama yung pagkakaalala ko. Okay? Jason Manuel, good afternoon din po. Ayan, good afternoon po sa inyong lahat. Um, Osin S. Oh Lord, wag ko po sanang, I feel Nico, at, Nico ata ito, Nico siguro pangalan ito. Good afternoon po from Zamboanga del Norte. Good afternoon din po sa inyo. Ayan. So I hope wala po akong naiskipan at yun pong mga nakipag, um, nakipag-debate kanina kay Peter sa amin pong HR Bootcamp. Na why may energy pa po kayo para sa ating discussion po for this afternoon dahil napaka-exciting po ng topic natin at gustong gusto ko po talagang mapakinggan ang thoughts po ng ating speaker for today kasi nakita ko na yung kanyang slide. So medyo habang binabasa ko yung slide, sabi ko, ay parang ang napaka-interesting na magiging topic niya. 
So our speaker for today is currently the Vice President and Chief Operation Officers of Yield Solutions, Inc. The company is a fully owned subsidiary of Yield Group Holdings in Australia. Prior to Guild, he will, he had served as general manager for five, no way, tama pronunciation ko, five corporation, a senior manager for business services in Macquarie and many other leadership roles in BPOs in the Philippines. So, kumbaga pagdating sa employee engagement, eh, siya po talaga ay um, maraming maraming na po siyang alam dito, lalo na po at nagtrabaho po siya sa outsourcing industry, kung saan napaka-importante po ng engagement po ng mga empleyado. In Guild, alongside with its leadership and very supportive staff, he helped sustain an above industry staff engagement score. Napakahirap po din noon. Guild's team in Manila is currently de delivering outstanding productivity, recording a net increase of 5 to 10% compared to last year, even if everyone is working from home due to the ongoing lockdown. His team was also able to recover business as usual operations with quick agility from challenges brought about by the Taal volcano eruption. Tito po nagsimula ang ating kalbaryo. Instantaneous implementation of the Metro Manila lockdown last March and the recent typhoons Rolly and Quinta. He is a member of the Phil People Management Association of the Philippines or PMAP and the ANZ Chamber of Commerce. Outside of work, he is a husband and a loving father to three wonderful children ladies and gentlemen let us all welcome mr engelbert nolasco ayan po ipaso po natin si sir engelbert ayan sir jel kamusta po rona good afternoon good afternoon ayan, thanks good for afternoon. having me thank you ayan thank you din po um for for being with us ayan sabi po ni alexander ready for take down notes na po ma'am uh <laughs> love love and more power ayan excited na po sila sa topic today ayan so, Sir Jel, um, you're working with Guild right now, correct? Correct, yes. Uh -oh. Okay, po. Gano ka na po katagal sa Guild? Um, Guild kasi started um, sa Manila noong 27, I'm sorry, 2016, pero via mm -hmm. an outsource company. Um, last year, 2019, sabi nila, uh, mag maggawa na tayo na sarili nating company. Mm -hmm. um, so, we moved out of that outsourcing company. We built our own. Unfortunately, um, pandemic kicked in 2020, pero we, we, we want to stay committed kasi pinangako kasi namin sa staff namin na no matter what happens, we will proceed as usual. Um, so we, we still um, built the company early this year. Nag-transition pa rin kami July 1st, 2020, kahit mahirap. Um, ika nga ng mga nasa PESA, I remember, sabi niyong isa doon, parang sir, kayo lang yung isa sa mga um, crazy na companies na nag-start mm -hmm. <laughs> nag ng operations ngayon 2020. Oh, we committed kasi, um, very important kasi when we give our word, as much as possible, we commit to it. So, um, yeah, for about three, more than three years, I think, yes. Ah, okay. Naku, tama po kasi sinabi niya, whenever we commit our word, lalo na po tayo sa mga HR, whenever we say something, we really have to honor that promise. Mm, Ayan mm, po. Mm, Kaya mm. dapat careful po tayo dyan. So, Sorry. Sir Jel, iiwan ko na po kayo, ibibigay ko na po ang floor sa inyo para po sa inyong presentation. Okay po, take it away po, Sir Jen. Thank you, Rona. Thank you very much. Um, and I hope I can match your energy throughout this um, evening. And, and good afternoon to all of you. I'm, I'm, I'm very pleased to see that we have attendees from not only um, within Metro Manila, but as far as um, I saw someone saying hi from Iloilo, Batangas, La Union. Um, good afternoon to all of you, actually. Well, good evening. Medyo dumidilim na, no? Um, before we actually start, can you just type sa comments, or I think all of you are in, most of you are in Facebook, um, on what industry do you belong to? Para um, I can relate, and at the same time, I can give examples relevant to your industry. Kayo ba ay BPO, hospital, hospitality, uh, manufacturing? Sige nga, can you let me know kung kung saan industry kayo um, nagbibilang retail there you go ah consultancy training ah all right cool airline oh probably the most um, devastated um, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that for for um, all of the industries we have in the Philippines really airline hospitality yung pinaka affected nowadays so um, Shared services. Oh, my, my, my head of HR, Lynn Estidola, is is listening to us right now. Hello, Lynn. Um, we also have people people from the government, health, 
um, financial services, import and trading. All right, okay. So we have a very diverse audience today. I hope um, you find this session very productive. And if I'm um, coming in and out or if my connection is not very well, just let me know, um, Rona. Huh? Um, if you can see my screen, may dalawang puzzle jan. Really, we're going to discuss today about the foundations of engagement. Um, some people, kasi when they hear the word engagement, most probably they're going to think if if you're not working in the HR in this, in, if if you're not working in the HR department, ha, most probably they're they're going to think of engagement as um, baka kasal nga eh, di ba? Um, but they're probably thinking of the right word because when you come to think of it engagement is about commitment um and and us in the hr um world ang trabaho natin is to bridge the gaps between um the company and our staff so we'll we'll take a look at that further in the um in the discussion sa mga um, susunod nating slides. But first of all, magyayabang lang ako ng konti ano. Um <laughs> um look 2020 um, in 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 my 36 years of 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 being alive is <laughs> probably one of the most difficult years most challenging years um in fact kung magbabasa kayo sa internet most of the chief executive officers industry leaders would say that 2020 is unprecedented ibig sabihin hindi pa nila nakita na ganung um degree um, but may I challenge that a bit and use the word exceptionally challenging instead? In fact, this is not the first time a volcanic eruption halted operations in the in the country. Um, this is not the first time the country witnessed a um, a pandemic. Maybe a pandemic this wide, but we had experienced pandemic before, and this is not the first pandemic the world has experience. In fact, they were worst in the past kasi konti pa lang yung alam natin sa sciences. Um, this is not the first time we experienced um, typhoons as well. In fact, we had worse typhoons in the past. But all of them coming together in one year really made 2020 a very challenging year for, in, for leaders, for staff, and for everyone. But even if, again, magyayabang lang ako ng konti, ano, um, our company still made it through. And in fact, I'm, I'm, kay dapat kayo din ganun. Um, you have to be, you have to be fans of your company. You have to be fans of your staff. Um, you need to be, um, their number one fan. So ibig sabihin, when, when they accomplish something really good, kayo yung pinakamalakas ang sigaw. Kayo yung pinakamalakas ang cheer. Kayo yung pinaka proud but at the same time because you are their number one fan when when they fall you are the first to extend or at least one of the first people to extend help understanding and the biggest word of all during this pandemic compassion just like um what 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 um rona said earlier we were able to sustain um, increased productivity kahit nagtatrabaho yung mga tao namin sa bahay. Um, in fact, I, I believe it has something to do with working from home. There are several studies that shows that working from home kasi is more productive than working in the office. Ikaw ba naman, pagising mo, di ba? Diretso ka na sa... Diretso ka na sa um, for, for those who do not have families, diretso na sa trabaho. Or, or some people, kakayan ng breakfast, diretso na sa trabaho. Um, unlike before, when you would have to travel to the office, medyo nakakapagod yung traffic and all that. Most especially, kung, kung meron sa inyo mga taga Cavite or Antipolo and um, siguro some parts of Bulacan, Laguna, um, magta-travel kayo every day to Makati, BGC, Ortigas, that will take about one or two hours. Papunta pa lang. pa another one or two hours. So talagang masungit ka na and all that, ba? But this time, everybody is just working from home. So iba yung challenge. Um, from from commuting and um, finding someone who take to, to take care of their kids para dun sa mga may sa, sa mga may um, may mga anak sa bahay um, ang challenge ngayon is napunta lahat domestic hindi ba um, and, and we'll take a look at that later um, further um, so we as as leaders we have to adjust to these changes as well um, and and just a bit about myself um, and, and 17 years pa lang naman po ang ang career ko ano uh, matigas po ang pulok ang ulo ko and and my friends know this whatever my mom says i do otherwise so sabi niya um tapusin mo yung college mo 
um, on time. Uh, hindi ko ginawa yon. <laughs> what I did was I, I worked in the BPO industry early 2003 um, as, 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 as an outbound sales um, representative in a company called eTelecare. Um, eTelecare at that time was one of the pioneers together with Sykes. Um, so sa umaga, pag maglalakad ako, um, I have to travel kasi from Los Baños, sasakay ako ng bus, first bus out in the mornings, around 3 or 4 in the morning, bababa ako ng kubaw, wearing long sleeves, shiny leather shoes, sasakay, sasakay ka ng jeep, and at that time, parang madaming curious eyes, thinking kung bakit posturang postura tong aga-aga, especially in Cubao, di ba? Um, and then I have to ride the jeep sa Cubao papuntang Eastwood. So, so hindi masyadong sikat yung industry nung panahong yun. Um, it was very challenging kasi um, at that time, again, hindi pa nga kilala yung industry, and it's very very difficult to push your way in, ika nga. Um, it was 2010, um, when I started to ma- to manage large, por- large portfolios, when I say large portfolios, I was managing a company kasi that has about, if my memory serves me right, about six or seven floors in the Enterprise Center in Makati. So you could only imagine kung magkano yung rent dun sa mga um, floors na yun. Um, and dahil ako yung manager ng business services, ako yung in charge sa business continuity planning, or in that company, it's actually called business resiliency planning. So hindi pwede na um, kapag may typhoon, ako ay invisible. In fact, kapag merong um, lindol, uh, merong sunog, merong um, typhoons, ako dapat yung una nilang nakikita. Um, so again, doon do, do nagising yung um, diwa ko siguro na um, leaders like us, people leaders, um, people managers like us sa HR need to be at the forefront whenever there are um, calamities, whenever there are typhoons or any 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 natural any abnormal occurrences that may disrupt businesses, most especially our staff. Um, and again, I'll discuss that in more detail later. Um, 2016. Um, I lost two family members to cancer. It, it was late 2015 when my brother was diagnosed for um, pancreatic cancer. And then he passed away January of 2016. My mom passed away nine months after. So so all of them happened um, on 2016. It was a very difficult year. But at the same time, it only proved that when it rains, it pours, hindi ba? So minsan, um, dito ako humuhugot kapag mayroong staff na lumalapit sa akin at para bang ano, ang sama-sama nung taon niya. <laughs> yung bang sasabihin niya, um, Sir Jel, um, binaha ako or hiniwalay ako, na, ako ng asawa ko or ganito and ganyan, things like that. Parang ang sama-sama na lang nung buhay niya. But it happens. Kasi if I, I, if I think 2016 did not happen to me, it would be very difficult for me to empathize to that staff. So, um, Para bang binaba ka ng pagkakataon para maging in touch ka with reality. And I think, again, empathy is a very big thing um, during these times. It was 2017 when I came back to the formal economy, to, to, the, to the workforce. Um, I've, I've been out of employment kasi from 2015 onwards um, just because I wanted to be available whenever my mom needs me or my brother needs me. Um, they have uh, my, my brother has their, have has his own family naman so um someone's taking care taking care of him pero gusto ko lang maging available so um at that time um uh, my wife and i started to have our own business that she's still managing until now um pero it was 2017 when i came back and just like what what when when rona asked me earlier um it was 2017 when i when i joined um um Guild, Solution, Guild, uh, Guild Solutions Inc. Um, back then, we, we were still outsourced via a third party, uh, a BPO, but it was 2019 nung sinabi nila ang mag-start na tayo ng sarili nating company. 2020 happened, um, vol- the, the Taal Volcano, um, ito pang um, pandemic, um, and management was already um, asking kung tutuloy pa rin kami sa plano. But then again, um, people kasi, our people are, are, are on top of our priorities. There are most Priced possessions. We ha- we invest heavily on them. So instead of us backing out, um, cowering behind um, COVID nineteen, we told ourselves, nope, we're going to push through no matter what. Um, above all, empathy. Siguro um, in the entirety of our discussions until later um, tonight, 
um, um, within the next hour or so, um, most of our discussion would revolve around empathy. Um, kung gusto natin magkaroon ng magandang program for our staff, it has to start with empathy. We need to understand what are they going through. Ano bang pinagdadaanan nila? Earlier, I saw meron sa inyo, um, nagtat- um, I believe someone was working from QMMC, um, um, a hospital. Um, if that is the case, then sobrang hirap nun, um because um, nurses and doctors mahaba ang shifts na nga eh, on 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 a normal on a normal um, on a normal scenario. Hindi e lalo na ngayon na dinagdaga mo pa ng PPE, mainit, um, hindi nila hindi sila makauwi agad kasi they have to go on quarantine pa for quite some time before before makita nila yung family nila. So so maraming pinagdadaanan ng mga tao ngayon. And hindi pera ang importante ngayong panahon ng pandemic. Compassion ang pinaka-importante. Um and and we'll take a look at um compassion and empathy throughout um our discussion tonight. Now, um, first of all, um, let's see. I hope you're still seeing my screen. Um, tanungin nyo muna yung sakili nyo. Are you engaged? Hindi ba? Um, the mere fact that you are in this webinar right now is a good sign. So, ibig sabihin, you are engaged. Kasi you're trying to find answers, eh. Di ba? to um to the most pressing question right now of how to motivate your staff how to keep your staff engaged throughout the pandemic um lilinawin ko lang um before you motivate others you have to check yourself first you have to take care of yourself um all of us in this um webinar if not if not all, then most of you um, are, are a, in the HR um, department. So, malamang nakapag-undergo na kayo ng occupational health and safety. And in any safety course, the first rule of thumb is before you save others, you take care of yourself first. Hindi ba? Um, how can you save others kung ikaw mismo eh, um, kung ikaw mismo eh may sakit? Ikaw ay hindi na sa tamang state of mind. Um, magulo yung buhay mo. Um, baon ka din sa utang. <laughs> hindi ba? So you have to take care of yourself first. In fact, during calamities, um, and, I, and I realized this the hard way, and may, and, and may, I, may I tell you now, um, during the time sabi ko sa inyo, um, when I started to handle um, large portfolios, and, 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 I, and the expectation nga sa akin is, whenever there's a typhoon or natural calamities, have to be in the front line. Um, the first thing that I always make sure of is my family is looked after. So, ibig sabi, I have four kids kasi. Um, so, uh, my, my wife is working from home looking after our business. So, ayoko naman umalis na yung utak ko nasa bahay. So, aalis ako, assured that, 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 um, even if I'm taking care of others, na alagaan na yung family ko. So, um, gigising ako na maaga. Siguro minsan, um, ipagluluto ko sila to make sure that they have food until the evening before I come back. So, ibibigyan mo na peace of mind yung sarili mo na they're okay until you are able to come back. Parang ganun. Um, may madaming food. Um, my, my, my children kasi has been um, um, homeschooled ever since um, 20... 20... Um, 16 or something like that. So, um, so, um, sa umaga, sinisigurado ko na ready na yung wala nang aalalahanin yung misis ko apart from, uh, apart from school and yung work niya. Kasi ando na, kukuha na lang sila ng food, kakain na sila until the evening. So, para pagpunta ko sa office, wala akong iibang iisipin kundi yung work ko. Kasi, for sure, magulo. Everybody is looking for answers. Sir, ang daming hindi makauwi. So, anong gagawin natin dito sa mga staff natin na hindi makauwi? Um, um, sir, nag-report na, na parang merong leak dito dahil malakas yung bagyo ng isang araw. Punta sa pupunta kami dun. Um, and then, Sometimes you have to invoke business continuity. So ililipat mo yung mga tao doon sa kabilang building kasi nag-fail yung internet doon sa main office mo. Um, so things like these. So you have to prepare yourself. And um, in, in, in one of our conversations kay, kay Lynn, um, who's, who's, who attended right now, ang, ang lagi kong sinasabi ko sa kanya is um, in HR, we are people managers. Kaya nga yung um, association, ang tawag, People Management Association of the Philippines, di ba? Um, because we are people managers. The moment you enter 
human resources. Ang sa ibang mundo ang tawag diyan na human, human capital development. Meron ding people and culture, meron people and capability. You have to let go of your ego. And that's a very important thing. Kaya ako huminto para mag-sink in sa ating lahat. We have to breathe in that HR people management is actually a vocation. Wala siyang kaibahan <laughs> sa pagpapari, pagmamadre, pag, pagiging doktor, pagiging nurse, pagiging... Um, um, I, I think you know what I mean. There has to be a calling. Some people kasi would, would just want to be part of HR just because um, gusto nilang takasan yung, yung current work nila kasi akala nila madali. Um, some people would think na um, there, there's some kind of a prestige if you're in the HR department. Maybe there is. But before it becomes a prestige, it is first and foremost a vocation. Um, ibig sabihin, when someone gives you feedback, may lumapit sa'yo, ma'am, um, hindi kasi nagwo-work yung, yung recruitment process natin kasi medyo mabagal. And you know, sabi nyo sa akin, uh, mabilis lang yung recruitment. Naghihintay na yung friend na ni-refer ko. Um, we need to make it better. If, if, if you're not considering your role in HR as a vocation, ang una mong iisipin is magiging defensive ka. Na para, ito napakareklamador naman itong taong ito. Um, marami kaming ginagawa dito, so maghintay ka lang. So, kasi you, you can't be like that if you are in HR. You have to um, make sure na alam mo kung paano i-handle yung mga ganyang feedback. And there are feedback that would really help improve things. There are just feedback that you have to take note of and then just acknowledge and move on. Nevertheless, you cannot be defensive. Kasi pag defensive ka, even the criticisms that would help things improve might be overlooked. And at the same time, your people will feel like you're not listening. Kapag naramdaman nila na hindi ka nakikinig, matik, goodbye engagement. Hindi ba? So it has to start from us, people managers. We have to consider our roles as vocations. Ibig sabihin, hindi tayo naghahanap ng kapalit. If right now pa lang, naghahanap ka na ng some kind of recognition na ikaw ay magaling, na ikaw ay... Um, um superwoman superman na ikaw ay um mas ano, gusto mo ng distinction mayroon kang entitlements let it go because that is a no no in hr most especially in hr because we are dealing with people and people have issues so if we need to sort out our own issues to help others resolve their issues and at the same time we need to be a step ahead in the emotional intelligence game in order to lead others. So kung hindi natin ma-manage yung sarili nating emotions, how can we manage others? Kung hindi tayo marunong tumanggap ng criticisms, how can we improve things? Hindi ba? Um so those are the those are the first two important points about engagement. First is um, you have to make sure that you are engaged before you engage others. Number two, you have to consider your role as a vocation, diba? Okay. Number three, define engagement. Okay. Tayo muna ay magkalibrate. Ano po before tayo lumayo ng todo? Ano ba ang salitang engagement? Um, again, sabi ko kanina, kapag lumabas ka ng mundo mo, sa HR, tinanong mo, Oy, boy kanto, ano ang salitang engagement? Malamang ang sasabihin nun ay, ay kasal yan. Hindi ba? But then again, he might be correct. Or actually, he is correct. Engagement is actually a commitment. Kung walang pinagkaiba sa kasal yun, hindi ba? Ibig sabihin, there has to be emotional involvement. And what I've been trying to do since the beginning of this talk until the end of this talk is trying to let you be in touch with your emotions. If you're not in touch with your emotions, you will not be in touch with others' emotions. Mag-uusap kayo ng data versus data, hindi ganun ang tao. They have to understand what you have to acknowledge what's going on in their feelings before you're able to relate to them. And first and foremost, for you to engage others, you have to invest on trust. 
medyo mahirap yan para sa atin sa HR kasi tayo rin ang gumawa ng policies and procedures ano most especially for dun sa mga friends natin ngayon na nanandun sa um, ER sa employee relations kasi we we're, we're, we're focused on um, discipline discipline and trust are actually related parang wow gel come on mamon no they're actually related you have to trust people first you have to give them the benefit of the doubt kaya nga may twin notice rule tayo hindi ba sa employee discipline you have to give them the benefit of the doubt look i trust you and i want to help you succeed this complaint so help me hindi ba magpaliwanag mo na maayos yung accusation sa and then let's talk it out and then when when we see that you're okay then you're okay And the same thing with an employee engagement program. It has to be vested on trust, lalo na ngayon na everybody is working for, or at least most of us, are working from home. Hindi mo pwedeng lagyan ng CCTV lahat ng bahay para panuorin kada minuto kung anong ginagawa ng staff mo. You have to tell them, you have to treat them like adults. And millennials, mind you, would want their bosses, would want their managers to treat them like adults. So all you need to do is to give them metrics, prepare scorecards, which I believe will be discussed next week, and then hayaan mo sila. Give them freedom. Yun ang gusto ng workforce ngayon. So again, first, you have to be engaged before you engage others. Pangalawa, treat your, treat your, um, treat your um, career your, as a vocation. And number three, you have to invest on trust. Number four, eh, kilala mo ba yung tao mo? Hindi ba? Do you have metrics in your HR department that understands ano ba yung nangyayari sa tao mo? Ay, dun sa workforce nyo. Meron ba kayong average age? Ibig sabihin, from from magkano ba yung edad nung, nung pag in-average mo yung lahat ng edad ng workforce mo? Ano bang age nila? 28 ba? That's young. 32 ba? That's okay. 40 something ba? Mm, that's a little that's a little up there. You should start preparing for um retirement benefits. Hindi ba? So these are these are what I'm trying to to, to drive at. Hindi discriminate hindi discrimination based on age, but you have to understand how old is your workforce para ma-relate mo yung engagement programs mo. Say for example, if most of your staff are millennials, iba ang humor nila. Hindi ba? And it took me some time to understand. Iba pala yung humor nila. Iba nga yung language nila. Di ba, Lods? Oh, di ba? Um, so, iba. So, you have to relate to these guys para maintindihan mo kung paano mo sila i-engage. And the best indicator is your average age. Sila ba ay kasal o single? Kasi kung sila ay kasal, at merong, ama, merong mga anak, malamang nagmamadali na yan kung 8 to 5 ang shift nyo, 4.30 pa lang, nagliligpit na yan. Kasi ang una niyang goal ay makauwi or ngayong work from home, makapagluto ng dinner. Hindi ba? So kayo, kung kayo ay magsischedule ng, <laughs> kung kayo ay magsischedule ng um, team meeting, post shift, around 5 p.m., negative ka friend. Kasi kung <laughs> kung kung yung yung kamukha ko na na um na may mga anak nagmamadali na yan hindi nila hindi sila magjo-join hindi ba so you have to find a middle ground ano kaya yung pwedeng mag-work para sa itong para dito sa mga to para at least yung majority sa kanila are, are are you know part of my engagement activities part of my engagement program also what makes them happy If if I if I get the chance siguro is send ko kay Rona or kay um, Monica after this. There was a study I attended um, last time dun din sa PMAP conference last year which shows majority of millennials actually are not after compensation. When asked, ano ba yung gusto nilang maging part ng isang company? Ang sinabi nila, gusto kong maging part ng company na may pinaglalaban. Sabi nila. So, a leader has to be inspiring. Oh, di ba? Very difficult yun. E, paano kung yung, yung, ano mo, yung, lead, yung CEO nyo, eh, walang personality, hindi ba? Mahirap. Mahirap i-motivate yung workforce. But us in HR needs to understand what makes them happy, what makes them motivated, what makes them tick. Hindi ba? And at the same time, what will make them stay? In, 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 in terms of career aspirations, you have to accept the fact that sometimes people's career aspirations are not in our companies. 
okay lang yun. You still invest in them otherwise. Okay lang yun. Kasi um, you, while you are investing in them, for training or or apprenticeship, mamaya sasabihin mo, eh, aalis din naman yan. Eh, paano kung hindi? Hindi ba? So, don't, don't, don't think that people will actually leave you. Again, trust is important in engagement. So, even if, kung aalis sila or hindi, you still have to invest. You invest nevertheless. Because you always hope for the best, prepare for the worst. Hindi ba? Paano, eh, who yung worst in this case, is also the best. Eh, kung hindi umalis. And magstay pa din sa'yo. Di mabuting nakapag-invest ka na dun sa tao mo. Hindi ba? And at the same time, while you keep on investing on them, the more they invest their trust in you in return. Lastly, what are their life goals ba? It has to be aligned eh. All of these have to be aligned. Dun sa engagement program nyo, sabihin nyo, Jel, napaka-farfetched naman yan. No. It has to be aligned. Say, for example, kung ang engagement program mo ay Christmas party. Isasabihin nila, eh, friend, may pandemic ngayon eh. Ang priority ko, pamilya ko. Hindi ako aalis dito sa bahay ko. Hindi ba? Kasi pag lumabas ako, baka mahawa sila. So, hindi ako attend yan. Anong ending mo, 10% lang ang a-attend. Itutuloy mo pa ba? So, these are the questions you need to ask before you actually keep on planning. So, again, just a quick review kasi I think I'm, I'm, I'm spending too much time. You ma- Again, number one, you must be engaged to engage others. Number two, you must consider your role as a vocation. Huwag insecure. You have to be very secure, very confident. And you have to invest on trust. You must also be genuinely, genuinely interested with your people. Ito yung slide na yun. Okay? You have to be genuinely interested with them. You You have to spend time to get to know them. Um, dito sa team namin, whenever there is um, an, an, an unfortunate event, just like what happened dun sa um, last time kay um, uh, the, the most recent typhoon, yung bumaha dito sa Antipola and Kainta, um, Lynn and I spent some time to check on our staff kasi we don't know what's going on. So and, until we found out na nabaha na pala yung bahay nila um, up to the second floor. So we have to send them some kind of provisions. Um, sabi ko, sige. Um, so I'm checking on them every now and then. Um, just to, kasi ikaw ba naman, bahain ng bahay mo. I mean, um, pa- parang, parang masakit yun. Kasi lahat ng inipon mo, lahat ng pinundag mo, makita mo, nilala mo ng baha. Masakit yun. So again, empathy. So at, bilang tao na, na detached from the situation, um, because I made invest, I, I invested on myself to make sure that I am at least most of the time able to help others because I'm a leader. Responsibilidad ko yun. That I need to take care of myself first para pag nangailangan yung mga tao ko ng tulong, I'm ready. So nakita ko kailangan nila ng tulong at that time and I'm here in a in a in a place na medyo secure and 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 um touch wood and god forbid hindi medyo immune sa mga ganong um situations. I'm, I'm Lynn and I were the first to help out. So yun yung mga iisipin niyo. Now sabihin niyo ano ba naman to si Jel para namang ano um sermon Saturday pa lang. Um so fun stuff muna ha. Alright. Okay. Mga titos and titas. Tignan ko nga yung comments. Have you seen this movie? Tignan ko nga. Titanic. Napanood nyo na ba yan, guys? Oh, yung mga titos and titas. Ayaw umamin. Mm. Hashtag si Rona in denial. Oh. Leonardo DiCaprio, Kate Winslet. Eh, ito, oh, yung mga feel, hashtag feeling bata, dito mag sa avatar. <laughs> Alright. What do they have in common? Sige nga. Tignan natin. Sasagutin ko na, kasi 5.50 na pala. Pareho silang mahaba, guys. 3.5 hours and 2.7 hours. Oh my God. Napakahaba. Pero ask yourselves, titas, titos, ilang beses niyong pinanood yung Titanic? Na mga panahong wala pang YouTube, walang Netflix, kailangan mo talaga magbayad para makapila ka. 
makapanood ka. <laughs> How many times did you watch it? 3.5 hours to a point. Parang Avengers din. Dapat pala sinama ko dito, no? Uh, 3.5 hours to the point na magsi-CR ka muna para siguradong kapag yung ano na, yung scene na na, yung may kamay ni Kate Winslet dun sa sasakyan, nandun ka. And hindi ka aabuti ng wiwi at that time, di ba? So, um, what do they have in common? Bakit sila engaging? They're both interesting. Hindi ba? Friends, ako na nagsasabi sa inyo, napakaraming documentary sa paglubog ng Titanic, but none of them were box office hits. Only Titanic. Kasi hindi naman yung paglubog ng barko ang pinanood dun. Ang pinanood dun, malamang si Leonardo DiCaprio and si Kate Winslet. But James Cameron was able to achieve his goal. You lasted three and a half hours to watch a boat sink. Hindi ba? Yun ang goal niya eh. Sabi niya, oh my God, pag, ito, pag itong storya na to ay tungkol lang sa paglubog ng barko, walang manonood nito. Lalo na tayong mga Pilipino, meron tayong barko na lumubog dito. Ilang, napakaraming namatay. More, more than 500. Itong Titanic, ilan lang yung namatay. Pero mas malaki siya, di ba? Um, so what I'm trying to say is, your engagement, engagement program must be interesting. It must tell a good story. It must have a good plot. Kasi kapag boring siya, most especially with the with the youth of today, they will really fall out. All right? Engagement is not a one-time event. It's a series of events knit by a common goal. So ang gagawin nyo sa umpisa pa lang ng taon, pagpaplanuhan nyo na yun the rest of the year. Ano ba ang gusto nyo ma-achieve? So tignan nyo yung nakaraang taon. Ano ba yung nangyari nun? Ano ba yung nangyari nun? Tapos, look ahead. Ano ba yung gusto nating ma-achieve? And then, magplano kayo kung ano yung engagement activities nyo para meron kayong um, metrics na masusukat throughout the year. Alright? It's point number one. Oh. Do you guys know this company? Sa mga ano, uh, mga metrosexuals, Alright. Piandre is a salon. Yeah? Okay. But do you know this lady? Si Mrs. Linda Zamora Francisco. Do you know her? You know what? After this talk, may I, ingur- may I encourage you to Google Piandre and Mrs. Francisco. You know what she did? There was a time, sabi niya, bakit, bakit walang tao dito sa isang branch ng salon ko? So she asked, yung receptionist, nasan ang mga utaw? Sabi, ma'am, nag-away po kasi si person A and si person B kahapon. Bakit? Ma'am, hindi po kasi nakabayad ng utang si person B kay person A. Ha? Kakasweldo lang ah. Ma'am, malaki na kasi yung utang. Bakit ganun? O so sabi niyo, o sige, kontakin mo na lang para makapasok sila and all that. Lipat siya dun sa kabila. Pagpasok pa lang niya, sabi nung isa, Ma'am, alis na po ako ha. Mag-resign na po ako kasi um, um, inahabol, nahihiya po ako. Ba't ka nahihiya? Ma'am, kasi baka may collection sa pumunta. Bakit? Sabi niya, ma'am, kasi baon ako sa utang. Sabi niya, Bakit nangy- paano nangyari yun? Kasi nung the last time I, 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 I checked, malaki naman yung binabayad natin sa mga tao natin compared with other Um, with other salons. In fact, guys, pag kayo napagupit sa piyandre, medyo mahal, hindi ba? Compared with other salons. So, kasi gustong ma-ensure ni Mrs. Francisco that her staff are well paid. So, she 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 thought deeply about it. Um, Mrs. Francisco is a very religious person. Again, I also met met her doon sa PMAP conference. Um, well, not physically, but but she was giving a talk. Um, sabi niya, she prayed hard for it and 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 and, and thought of an answer and all that. Um, so what she did was very out of the box. Ginawa niya ng kooperatiba, ng co-op, ang kanyang mga staff. And itong kooperative na to, pinag, pinag-franchise niya ng isang salon. And you still can see this dun sa website nila. Sabi niya kasi, itong, mga, itong cycle ng utang, bayad, hindi nakabayad, is never ending. Hindi ba? Even if you raise your salaries, guys, even if we contract 
approach to do a salary survey and makita natin na malaki naman yung pasweldo natin compared with other companies, mababaon pa rin sila sa utang. And I mind you now, kahit increasean mo pa yan ng 100,000 pesos per month, mababaon pa rin sila sa utang. You know why? Because you have not addressed the root cause, which is they don't know how to handle money. They're emotional spenders. So yun ang worry ni Mrs. Francisco. Sabi niya, kasi I need to be a responsible steward of my business. And responsible stewards need to make sure that the balance sheet is healthy. Is kapag nangailangan ako ng utang sa banko, hindi ako papautangin. Kapag nangailangan ako ng um, investors, additional investors, hindi ako papansinin. Kasi masama yung mga finances ko. And at the same time, if she, if the company is not earning, how can she help? The employees. So, so again, basic rule of thumb, take care of yourself first, hindi ba? So yun yung iniisip niya. Paano ko tutulungan itong mga ito? Kaya sabi niya, okay, gagawa akong kooperatiba. So dahil may kooperatiba na ako, ang gagawin natin dito sa mga taong to, they will be the owners of that salon. So they know how it feels to own a business. Pag kumita, may dividendo ka. Pag wala, wala din. So they understood how it is to run a salon, how to run a business, what a capital is, ano ba yung assets, liabilities, nuggets nila lahat yun. And they were able to, according to Mrs. Francisco, able to live their lives well. Which is a very good thing, ano? Address the root cause, guys. Point number two. Oh, do you know this company? I think everybody knows this company. Mayroon ba tayong taga Pampanga? Wala? Okay. But I think everybody knows. Oh, there, we have someone from Pampanga. Hello, Kabalen. Okay, I, I won't pretend na I, I know that word, ha? Pero I just hear people say Kabalen every now and then. I'm I'm hoping na positive ang, ang ibig sabihin nun. Um, but, but this is a proud um, company from Pampanga. McKenny. So for those who do not know, uh, hindi hot dog ang kanilang primary um, sa pagkakaalam ko uh, product. To sino? So during the um, sabi ko kanina sa inyo, ah really, thank you. Uh, thank you Mona, yung pala yun. So tama pala yung sinabi ko. Hello, kakabalin. Alright. So during the, sabi ko kanina, this is not um, early this year, Taal Volcano erupted. That was not the first volcanic eruption the Philippines experienced. Hindi ba? In fact, yung pinakamalala happened in the 1990s. Mount Pinatubo eruption. And the ash reached as far as the other side of the world. Ganon siyang kama- kasama. Ganon siyang kalala. And kung naapektuhan yung kabilang side ng world, abi paano ba tayo? Paano pa yung nandoon mismo sa katabilang niya? And McKenny's plant is also within Pampanga. Isipin nyo, paano ba gagawa ng hotdog? Paano ba gagawa ng tosino? Malamang kailangan mo ng raw meat. Hindi ba? And for, for raw meat to last long, kailangan frozen. Eh, pumutok yung vulkan. Nagka-ash. Noong nagka-ash, nagkalahar, nasira ang mga um, poste ng kuryente. Nawala ng kuryente. Matagal na wala ng kuryente sa Pampanga. Nagka, um, nag, na, na, na-spoil, na, na, na panis, na sira yung kanilang raw materials. So, si Prudes Garcia, Mr. Prudes Garcia, is actually the son of the original owners of Mekeni Hotdog. In fact, sabi niya, nananahimi kasi siya sa SGV. <laughs> Sabi niya, okay naman na ako eh. Pina- pinilit lang ako nung, nung tatay ko na, na i-manage yung McKinney, sabi niya. Sabi, sabi niya, kasi kung tutuusin, okay naman siya kinikita niya sa SGV, stable yung trabaho niya. Ba ikaw ba naman, nagtatrabaho sa kumpanya, di malamang yung, yung sweldo mo, alam mo na kung kailan dadating. So it gives you some sense of comfort, di ba? Nasa ulab ka ng comfort zone mo. E kinonvince siya tatay niya na hindi, someone has to manage this company within our family because this is a company by families sabi nila yun ang kanilang core core value so sabi ni Prudes 
nung um nung nag-spoil yung kanilang raw materials and it became a very challenging year kung ikaw kasi ay financial uh, manager most of the time ang sagot mo sa um crisis ay retention re, um retrenchment you let go of staff para makatipid ka or you sell your assets para makatip ma, para bumaba yung cost mo mabawi mo in some other means so yung tatay niya Um, being a member of the board, <laughs> so sila-sila rin, di ba? So pinag-send niya yung idea na yun. Sabi niya, oh, Tai, kasi, um, you know, um, when I was in SGV, ito yung pinakamagandang strategy and all that. Um, but his father said, did you talk to our staff? Of course, his natural reaction was, no. <laughs> Uh, kasi iniisip niya, teka lang, you appointed me as president and CEO, so definitely the decisions must come from me. Um, ang sabi niya, look, um, this company is not just owned by us. This is owned by all of us, including our staff, our family. So ask them. So sabi niya, okay. So nagpatawag siya ng staff meeting, pinatawag niya lahat ng tao niya. Sabi niya, ito ang problema natin. Masama ang finances ng kumpanya, and I think you all know that. So, hindi ko kayo kayang i-employ lahat. So, ang nakikita naming solusyon ngayon ay, ay magtanggal muna ng ibang trabahador, sabi niya. And at that time, one of their staff raised his hand. Sabi, Sir, ilan lang ba yung kaya mong i-retain na empleyado? So, si, uh, si Prudes, sinabi niya kung ilan. Sabi ng isa, Nagtaas ng kamay. Sir, ganito na lang. Huwag mo na lang kaming tanggalin lahat. Irasyon mo na lang yung shifts. Para lahat kami may kita, lahat kami may trabaho, tiis-tiis muna kami. Sabi niya. So, doon siya natauhan. Sabi niya, oh. So, hindi pala lahat ng solusyon galing sa akin. In fact, guys, most of the time, the best solutions will come from the very people who are doing the frontline work for you. Kasi sila yung nandun sa katotohanan, hindi ba? Kita nila eh. The, 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 the very reality is unfolding in front of their eyes. So alam nila yung what will work and what will not work. So all we need to do is to extend a lending ear. So again, If you're formulating your engagement program, run it past your staff first. And don't run it on the same staff you've run it in the past. Have focus group discussions para yung buong kumpanya nyo, lalong-lalo na kung madami kayo, use different um, samples every now and then. Dahil basic statistics, hindi ba? Kailangan yung sampling mo maganda. E kung yun at yun lang din ang kausap mo every now and then, you're unfortunately creating politics. Hindi ba? So, dapat, kung meron kang kumite na, um, na nag-organize ng programs for you or yung bang parang employment comi- employee committees na kon- kinokonsulta mo on policies and procedures, which is a good thing, by the way, don't get me wrong. But if they're the same faces year, year, year every year, you're creating politics. So, i-rotate mo. So, mag-FGD na lang kayo frequently. Huwag yung sila lang at sila din. Alright? So again, three things. Your engagement program must be interesting. Okay? And wag one time. Hati, hatiin nyo. Kasi kayo rin naman, mahili kayo sa telenovela, Korea novela. Hindi ba? Hati-hati din yun. Exciting. Kada event. Pero may storya. So treat your engagement activities to be the same. Next, your engagement program must address the root cause. Ano ba yung problema? Hindi pwedeng sabog. Kailangan merong sagot. Merong kayong sinasagot. Kailangan merong kayong nire-resolve na problem. And lastly, it must be inclusive. Ibig sabihin, hanggat maaari, may inputs ang inyong direct staff. Okay? All right. Ngayon, tatanungin niyo, oo nga, paano nga, di ba? So before we move further, i-reviewin natin lahat ng no, pinag-usapan natin. Sabi ko, una, yung engagement program mo must be interesting. E sinabi ko rin nung umpisa kanina, you must be engaged. 
to engage others. Kung hindi ka interesado sa staff mo, you don't know what is interesting to them. Diba? So for you to know what is interesting to them, you must be genuinely interested. And if you're genuinely interested, if you're finding to, utter, to address a root cause, maalalaman mo what makes them tick. Let's go back to the example kay James Cameron. Sabi niya, ang goal niya ay ipaalam sa ating lahat kung paano lumubog, lumubog yung Titanic. Again, kung paglubog ng barko, ang, ang, ang main plot nung, <laughs> nung, nung pelikulang yun, hindi niyo papanoorin yun. Kasi kung papanoorin niyo yun, eh bakit hindi niyo pinanood yung mga nasa National Geographic Discovery Channel, di ba? So sabi niya, kailangan interesting to. So mag-invent, maglagay tayo ng invento na love story para engaging. Di ba? Sobrang engaging nung story, hindi niyo napansin na really ang totoong plot nun is dahil lumubog siya dahil napabayaan yung journey. Dahil dun sa ano, kasakiman... <laughs> At least according to the story, ha? Um, doon sa kasakiman, nung may-ari ng Titanic, gusto niya mag-break ng record kahit na-break niya na yung record sa pinakamalakis, pinakamalaking um, ship at that time. Gusto niya mag-break yung record ng pinakamabilis na journey. Sabi niya, sige, bilisan niyo. So, hindi na na-calculate, may iceberg pala. So, too late na nung nakaliko sila. Eh. Wala pa namang um, high-tech radars at that time. di ba? So, na-address ni James Cameron yung root cause, which is yung primary goal niya. May kwento niya sa inyo yung paglubog ng barko. Sa so, pamamagitan ng um, accompanying plot, which is completely engaging. Lastly, your engagement program must be inclusive. So, kailangan pagkatiwalaan mo sila. Kasi pag hindi mo sila pinagkatiwalaan, yung engagement program mo, ang paniniwalaan mo lang yung sarili mo. And it will not be effective. So you must consider your role as a vocation. Dahil kap- yung, yung anim na boxes na yan will not work if you're always thinking that feedback is just reklamo. No. Feedback is a friend. It's the only thing that will help you improve. And at the same time, it is the very thing that will help you develop a very good engagement program. So tatanungin niyo ko, ano ba yung pinakamalaking tanong natin ngayon? How do you keep your staff engaged throughout this pandemic? Simply lang ang sagot, ask them. Have you asked them? Because really, the most important thing right now during the pandemic is connections, human connections. Nagkaroon kasi ng physical distancing. So you must, you must bridge that gap. And we have a we, we have a one slide for that later. Sabi niyo, okay nga, sige na nga, Jel. So, paano nga? Okay, sige, I'll give you specific examples. Una, Jel, wala nga nagjo-join eh. Ano nga gagawin ko? Okay, sige. Do an FGD. Kung malaki yung kumpanya nyo, just get a sample. Siguro mga lima or anim. Kausapin mo sila, Uy guys, ito kasi yung problema. Gusto kong gusto kong ma-achieve. Gusto kong, ang laki kasi nung attrition natin. Last year, 20%. Gusto kong baba sa 5%. Ano ba sa tingin nyo yung problema? And ibibigay nila yon. You will be surprised with the symptoms they're going to tell you. And you're also going to be surprised with the solutions they're going to tell you. Oh, pinakamalaking problema last March. People can't get to work, but they want to work. You know what we did? At that time, everybody can't get to work. And I just live here in Taguig. And our office is in Taguig. So what we, what I did, I went to the office. And luckily, nandun yung IT namin. Sabi ko, I need computers to be shipped to my staff. Sabi niya, sir, hindi pa kasi ready yung grab at saka lala move at this time. Hindi rin nila alam kung sila ba ay allowed. Sabi ko, no. Put them in my car. I will ship it. I will I will bring it to my staff. So, ngangar si kuya, no? Hindi siya makapaniwala. But then again, um, I'm, I'm, I'm the only one available at that time. At that moment. So, ba, tanggal, again, tanggal mo ng ego. I wasn't looking for it for recognition at that time. Dalawa lang ang gusto kong ma-resolve. Una, sabi ng mga staff ko, gusto nila magtrabaho. Ang problema, wala lang silang computer. 
okay, I'll bring the computers straight to you. Ang pangalawa kong problema is kapag hindi ko na-resolve yun, ASAP, magreklamo yung staff, yung, yung mga counterparts namin sa Australia. And we Filipinos will appear as um, a non-resilient nation, which we aren't. In fact, pumutok na yung bulkan, nagkakong pangalang pandemic, hala, sige pa din tayo. Hindi ba? So I don't want to destroy yung yung image na yun ng ibang tao. So pinakita ko na we can. We, we are resourceful. We are resilient. So we will find a way. So we did. Yun yun. Because at that time, kung naghahanap ako ng um, kung naghahanap ako or, or yung HR namin or kahit na sino ng recognition, ang unang gagawin ko is si FB Live ko yun. Di ba? But there's no time for that. The, 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 the window is very small. Hindi ba? And walang panahon para umarte. We have to find a solution ASAP. Else everything will crumble down. So again, you must be engaged to engage others. So let go of all of the things that is um, hindering in your mind. And I'm telling you right now, ego lang yun. Pag nilet go mo yun, liliwanag ang solusyon para sa'yo. And by the way, dahil so madami kaming staff, tsaka na-realize ko na hindi ko pala pwedeng dalhin doon sa kabilang side ng Metro Manila, doon sa north, sa Bulacan, sa Manila, and things like that. Uh, areas um, over there. So ang ginawa ko, tinawagan ko yung isa pa naming staff na mayroong kotse. Um, si John Vera. Sabi ko, John, um, patulong naman kasi um, baka gabihin ako kapag dinala ko sa kanila. And sabi niya, bakit boss, ano ba ginagawa mo? Sabi ko, nagdadala ako ng computers para sa kanila. Sabi niya, ha? Huh? At this time? And sabi ko, well, they want to work and we have to make them work. And we don't have um, a company car. So let's just make it work. Sabi niya, sige boss, kung ikaw nga nag-deliver, ako pa. Diba? So ayun, pumunta siya, nakita kami sa Eastwood and then he brought the, com- the, the other half of the computers to our staff members' homes. So, yeah. There. You just need to work together. Again, if you engage others, if you engage your team, they will help you find a solution. Peep, ito pa. <laughs> People sit on plastic chairs for too long. Oh. May nabasa ako um, na Facebook um, wall nung, um, well, hindi ko na siya papangalanan, ano? Um, pero sabi niya, may, th- there was a similar um, comment. Sabi niya, ito namang mga taong to hindi makapagtiis. Sabi na uupo na lang sa ano na sa bahay na ngayon yung yung work nila nagde-demand pa ng X Y and Z. Ah, pero guys, ilagay niyo kasi yung sarili niyo <laughs> sa sitwasyon ng staff, 'di ba? Ikaw uupo doon ng 8 hours, minsan nga 9 or 10 hours pa eh, sa mono block. 'Di ba? Can you sit there for 8 or 9 hours for more than 3 months? Actually 9 months na ngayon, March, March ano na ngayon, September. Ay, no, ano, December, sorry. So, naka, patapos na yung taon. So, we can't expect our staff to sit on a plastic chair working nine hours a day. So, we have to find a way. Tutal, nandun lang naman yung upuan sa office, pwede nyo ipadala yun. Or, if you can afford, dahil uh, may mga natipid kami because na-cancel yung iba naming activities, binili namin sila ng chairs. Ah, makita niyo yan sa Facebook, ano namin, um, Guild Solutions Inc. Binili namin sila ng chairs at saka maliit lang na desk. Um, in fact, nag-sorry pa nga ako kasi hindi pala kasha yung <laughs> dalawang monitors nila. Um, but then again, they were thankful. My staff were very thankful that um, the chairs were sent to them and 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 also the desks. Um, kung, kung hindi niyo ma-afford yun, meron naman sa office, padala niyo. Kasi um, kapag hindi naayos yun, it will become more complicated problems sa scoliosis, or, um, you know, back problems. You have to think of these things. Some of our staff are really financially struggling. O hindi lang yung mga gawagawang utang, ha? Yung, yung talagang um, halimbawa na apektuhan talaga ng bagyo. Kung walang naitabing pondo ang inyong kumpanya, kasi mahirap naman talaga ang panahon ngayon, at, 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 tanongin nyo yung staff nyo. Baka naman pwede rin sila mag-donate. Kahit makaipon lang kayo ng mga 500 or 1,000, iisipin ng staff nyo na malaking tulong na yun. Um, or, kung kailangan talaga na medyo malaki-laking ayuda, i-refer nyo sila sa institutions. The, the best thing you can do for them is to source the help for them. Hindi kailangan na kayo yung naglalabas ng pera. You just need to, to orchestrate a solution for your staff. Oh, 
back then, during March, akala ng mga tao, two weeks lang yung pandemic, yung lockdown, hindi ba? So sabi ng iba, ah, okay lang po kami dito sa mga dorm and all, hindi, hindi na po kami uuwi. But no, April na, andun pa rin sila. So we already asked them, kailangan nyo na bang umuwi? And they said yes, kasi mukhang hindi, uh, mukhang matagal ang, 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 ang pandemic. So sabi nila, um, boss, um, gusto namin umuwi. Kaya sabi namin, okay, sige, let's find a way. Luckily, one of our staff knows um, someone who can take them to wherever they they need to go. So yung staff namin na pauwi ng Bulacan, meron siyang kakilala na nailusot siya dun sa mga checkpoint. And at the same time, nakipag-usap na siya dun sa barangay niya na pauwi na siya. So inayos na lang yung isolation pagdating sa bahay, yung self-quarantine. And, and, and because we found out na ganun lang pala yung proseso, we also did that for all of our staff. Because imagine if they're still in their homes, and in their dorms until now. I mean, ikaw masisiraan ka ng ulo. Ikaw nga nasa bahay mo, nasiraan ka na ng ulo. Paano pa if you're sharing the, excuse me, the, the room with others? Tapos hindi mo makita yung family mo. That's, that's, ano, that's torture. So we, 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 we put ourselves in their shoes. Alam namin na mahirap. For the time being na hindi pa namin sila mapauwi, pinadadala namin sila ng paunti-unting um, groceries, um, bread, just to help them get through um, the loneliness. And we call them every now and then to check kung okay ba sila. Um, and then when we found long-term solutions for them, we sent them um, to their hometowns. Yung sta- stakeholders namin, because we are an international shared services company, eh, and our head office is in Melbourne, hindi nila alam yung nangyari sa Philippines. They just read it in the news, pero hindi nila alam kung ano yung effect dun sa mga tao. Sabi ko, oh, simple. So what we did was, we made a documentary. Again, you have to be creative. Libre naman ito, hindi ba? So we made a documentary. So we pulled all of our staff randomly, so mga four or five. Ang ununa namin yung pinauwi namin. Um, doon sa um, doon sa kanilang mga locations. Tinawag namin yung documentary na The Journey Home. O, oh, di ba? Um, ano lang yun? Zoom. So, nag-zoom kami lahat. We recorded the sessions. Pinutol-putol lang namin using um, an editing software. Um, and libre naman yun kahit mag-download kayo sa phones nyo. Um, and then we uploaded it doon sa company internet. So, nag-gets nila. Nilagyan namin ng konting music para dramatic na onte. So, nag-gets nila na, oh, mahirap pala <laughs> yung, yung pinagdadaanan ng mga tao. Um, yung isa pang issue was, at that time, ang hirap lumabas. Hindi ka pwedeng mamili. Um, um, may ano yung, yung may card pa na kailangan ka i-present para makapamili ka. So, dinocument namin yun para magets nila na it was complete lockdown, hindi joke lockdown. Lockdown talaga, yun ang nangyayari sa Manila at that time, na kailangan mo pa ng pass para makalabas ka. And for some of our staff, may araw lang na pwede silang lumabas. So, mahirap ang buhay. So, ginawan din namin yun ng um, documentary, ang tawag naman namin ay Air and Boys. Hindi ko lang maipost sa YouTube channel namin kasi... Um, baka, baka ayaw nung, nung staff namin. So, ang ginawa lang namin is in-upload namin dun sa internet para nakita ng mga international yung mga uh, managers namin na based in uh, Melbourne. Para lang ma-bridge yung cultural gap. And at the same time, according to one psych, um, psychologist that I spoke with, it helps them pala if they're talking about their experiences. So, um, pag naririnig nila na, ah, yung ibang tao pala, ganun din. So, parang nakaka-identify sila. Um, it makes them feel that they're not isolated. So, parang hitting two birds with one stone pala yung ginawa namin yun. Oh, people miss each other, which is understandable. Again, there's a big absence of um, physical presence nowadays. So, ang ginawa namin, o di weekly video catch-ups, pa yung nakausapan namin ng mga tao, huwag nyo kasing i-off yung video nyo. I-on nyo muna kahit 30 minutes lang, magkita-kita kayo para mag-sync in sa inyo na tao pa rin yung kausap nyo. Um, minsan kasi akala nila, dahil sa phone, parang walang physical connection, di ba? Pero when you actually see your, see your old friends um, in video, na parang ano yun, totoong buhay sila and hindi lang parang pinanonood mo and all, um, it, it, it makes you somehow um, feel connected. Hindi ba? Some are having a difficult time coping with isolation. May, please ask your HMOs, MaxiCare, um, IntelliCare, kung may coverage ba for mental health consultations. Kasi um, for us, MaxiCare has. So baka yung sa inyo meron din. And refer your staff to those kinds of um, um, assistance. Makakatulong kasi sa kanila yon And help them reinforce ka mo na when you ask for mental health assistance, it doesn't mean na sira ulo ka. 
that's a very antiquated that's a that's a very old um notion outdated na yan and kung meron pa rin sa staff niyo na nag-iisip noon halimbawa nalaman ng isang staff niyo na meron kayong si person A nagpatingin sa uh, pumunta for um, a mental health consultation tapos si person B pinagkalat na si Raulo treat it um very seriously hindi na uso yung mga ganyang ano ngayon um 20 in a few weeks 2021 na hindi na tayo dapat ganyan mag-isip when people need help encourage them to raise their hands para makita nyo kung sino ang kailangan talaga ng tulong so create an environment then and this is very important pala for engagement activities create an environment where they feel safe that when they tell na you know na ma'am parang hindi nagwo-work to or hindi nagwo-work yan walang repercussions kasi kung gumagawa rin kayo nung nung reason na i-discourage nyo sila para magsalita, eh wala. Hindi ba? Hindi, hindi nyo malalaman kung ano yung totoong pulso nung staff nyo. If your organization is large, I'm encouraging surveys. Periodic surveys. Siguro minimum once every six months para makita nyo kung sila ba ay satisfied or hindi. Encourage them to tell, um, to tell you kung ano ba talaga yung totoo. Um, make it anonymous. So parang para makita nyo doon kung violent ba sila or ano, at least alam nyo kung ano yung nangyayari, magawa nyo ng paraan, magawa nyo ng solusyon. And don't get disappointed when people tell you only through surveys and not face-to-face. Some people are really not going to tell you face-to-face kasi nga takot sila na baka may repercussions. Over time, when you make them realize na kakasurvey nyo, nagbabago yung organization nyo, na yung mga ina-address nyo yung yung mga bagay-bagay, over time, they will realize that na, ah, serious pala si ma'am, si sir, about the reformation that he wants to happen. So, baka pwede, pwede kong sabihin sa kanya face-to-face. Di ba? Alright. Ano pa? Oh! No, Chris, ay, sorry. <laughs> Libre to. Talk to your staff members. Family rin yan. Okay? When you treat your staff members as family, hindi mahirap nakausapin sila. Because we do that. Um, kahit tanongin nyo si Lynn, we do that. Um, kahit sa WhatsApp lang, o sabi ko, oy, kamusta na kayo? Okay na ba kayo? Okay naman po. Pag, naki- pag narinig ko yung Taal Volcano, sumabog na naman. Check ko yung mga staff namin na nakatera doon sa area na yun. Kamusta kayo? Okay na naman ba? Okay naman po. Yung mga um, lumubog yung bahay sa Antipolo, I, I check them. Okay na ba kayo? Okay na po, boss. Huwag nyo na kami problemahin. O, okay na. So part that issue na. Hindi ba? So, so get to know them. Para they know that you are just, not just, um, a manager, you're just not HR, you are a person, and you care. Because that's what's important. Again, during this pandemic, hindi pera ang importante. Compassion. Oh, no Christmas party, sabi na IATF. Oh, edi padala nyo yung Christmas basket sa kanila. Tapos, i-account nyo na lang kung magkano ba yung lala move costs, or yung grab move, eh, grab uh, delivery costs. Or better yet, maghanap kayo sa Facebook nung mga humahanap ng sideline. Mas mura yun. Or, meron palang um, isang nag-suggest na um, kung kaya nyo, make synchronized area-based um, meetings. So, halimbawa, nakazoom pa din kayo, pero halimbawa, lahat ng taga-antipolo mag-meet sa Maxis, or hindi ko alam. Tapos yung isa naman, lahat ng taga-QC mag-meet dito. Tapos mag-join kayo via Zoom. O at least nakakita sila na kahit dalawa o tatlo lang na tao. Diba? It's a good solution. And um, hindi masyadong mahal. Kasi magkano lang ba yung meal na bibili nyo sa restaurant? Tapos, kita-kita sila doon, diba? Um, at least mayroong human connection. Walang budget. Oh, okay. For for some of you who are working in large corporations, or kahit medium-sized corporations, and you have a procurement manager or procurement person or facilities manager, ako na ang nagsasabi sa inyo, meron silang natatanggap sa suppliers. Because I've been there. During Christmas, magsesend sila ng something. Kahit saging lang, magpapadala yung mga yon. Magpapadala ng planners, magpapadala ng notebooks, ng mugs, ng, ng kahit na ano. Calendars, alam mo yun? Um, and if you really don't have budget, kahit tinanong mo na yung management team nyo, so may pasensya na talagang sobrang tipid tayo eh. O oh, again, kamukha nung ginawa nung sa mekeni, kausapin nyo sila. Mayo guys, wala tayong pera eh. Pero meron kaming prizes na na-source from our vendors. Pag tiis muna natin to, pag nakabangon tayo, kayang-kaya rin natin. Balik na tayo sa dati. Ngayon lang, tulong, um, tulong-tulong muna tayo this time. Okay? Or eh, i-paraful. Dahil yun lang ang nakayanan. 
So teach people then to adjust. Basta tell them the truth. Kung ano ang kayang ma-afford at hindi. Uh, or, or ask your suppliers. <laughs> Sabi niyo, oy, sama yung condition namin ngayon, baka naman kayo ang meron. Tulungan niyo kami, kami naman next year. Di ba? Um, in HR, we deal with people. So we should be the best negotiators. Oh, ha? Kasi dahil tayo ang nakikipag-usap sa tao, dapat tayo ang uh, center of excellence, ika nga, in people management and negotiations. Kasi kung di tayo marunong makipag-negotiate, may hirapan tayo sa HR. Because we manage people, but they don't report to us, di ba? Kakausami po pa yung manager. Uy, pasawa yung tao mo. Ayusin mo yan. Di ba? So you have to tell them kung paano aayusin yun. And sometimes you negotiate. Halimbawa, meron ka namang mainit ang ulo na manager na i-terminate mo yan. O, hindi pwede yun. Di ba? Hindi naman tayo Amerika. So, kailangan may due process. O, negotiate I mean, sir, hindi pwede yan. Kailangan, ano, padaanin natin sa due process. So, ganito na lang gawin natin. Kapag nakita natin na tagilid talaga, sige. Pero, we must give them the, ano, we must give them the benefit of the doubt first. O, di ba? O, di nakapag-negotiate ka. Okay ba? Okay, no budget for party. So, pwede ka naman kayo mag-potluck. Diba? Again, taste taste muna guys. Mahirap ang sitwasyon ngayon. You, you can actually tell them na madami ang walang trabaho. Uh, the problem with that is if you keep that narrative going on and playing over and over again, magtutunog kayong magulang. Eh, ayaw nga ng millennials yun. Na parang sinesermo na nyo sila. So, alam na nila na maraming walang trabaho. Huwag nyo nang ulit-ulitin. <laughs> ang, ang sabihin nyo lang is reality. Guys, we can't afford it. Because if we do this, the company will experience X, Y, and Z. Kapag nagkaganon, the, the effect on us will be X, Y, and Z. So we have to do 1, 2, and 3 para hindi mangyari yung X, Y, and Z. So for now, tiis-tiis muna tayo guys. Di bali next year, pag nakabangon tayo, babawi kami. Again, keep your word. Pag sinabi niyo babawi kayo, eh bumawi talaga kayo. Oh, my solutions are not working. Kamukha po nung sinabi ko kanina. Tanungin niyo kasi sila. Okay, ito ang problema natin. Itong limitations natin. Ito lang ang kaya ko ma-afford. Ito ang problema natin. Help me resolve it. Brainstorming. And you'll be surprised with what they can actually deliver. Nga pala, before I, before I end this talk, may I just remind everyone that the motivation levels of some people are not the same as you. So, wag mong sukatin yung, yung tao mo based on just one ruler. <laughs> And I think this is basic. I think you guys know what I mean. Meron talaga mga tao na kahit anong gawin mo, ayaw mag-join na social events. Okay? Huwag niyong pilitin. But you have to find a common ground. Sabi mo sa kanya, ayaw mo naman na isolated ka forever. Di ba? Ayaw mo rin naman na ma-miss yung opportunity na makilala ka ng mga tao. So anong mag-work for you? Pero not in a way na paparosahan niyo siya. In a way na, na iparamdam niyo na gusto kasi naming makilala ka. So, ipaliwanag nyo. Take the time to explain. And all, most of the time, it's not you who needs to do the explanation. Their direct managers <laughs> need to do the, the explanation. But since we are HR, you have to educate your managers. You have to coach them. Kasi pag marunong tayong mag-coach ng managers, matututo rin sila sa atin kung paano mag-coach ng tao. Nagets ba? So, again, uh, dahil tayo ay HR, we have to be centers of excellence in people management para merong pagkokopyahan, ika nga, yung mga managers, yung mga operational managers sa atin. IT will just manage computers. E computer yun, pag nabasa, sira, papalitan. Kapag nagka-virus, i-reset lang yung hard drive, i-re-image, okay na yun. Pag kulang, bibili. Pag luma na, papalitan. Madali ang solusyon dyan. Ang kalaban lang talaga nila is inventory management. Okay? Finance, ang problema, pera. Madali di, well, mahirap, pero madali lang solusyonan yun. Pera lang din ang solusyon dun. Hindi ba? Pag nakita mong ninanak, pag ninanakawan ka, makikita mo sa paper trail yun. Kapag uh, mababa ang sales, kita agad yun sa reports. Pero sa tao, you have to be masters of emotions, of emotional intelligence. That's what we need to be here in HR. Before I end, let me just remind everyone, COVID-19, 
kamo kana sabi ko kanina pandemic is not a call to be generous it's a call to be empathetic you need to be at your best in you need to be you need your eq to be at its best during these times kasi walang emotional walang physical connection hindi mo sila nakikita eh so you have to be at your best you have to find a way to connect to people using technology and you have to be very creative to find a way i think that's about it rona Ayan, thank you so much, Sir Jill. Naku, medyo na-excite ako doon sa ating discussion. Oh, 30 na pala. Pero, um, yes, oo, hindi na, napan- hindi na natin napansin kung anong oras. <laughs> Nag-enjoy tayong masyado sa discussion po. Pero ang ganda nung ating uh, mga binanggit kanina. Uh, guys, if you would like to connect with Sir Jill Nolasco, ito po ang kanyang LinkedIn address. So, ayan po. Punta lang po kayo dyan para makakonect, makakonect po kayo sa kanya sa LinkedIn po. And if may questions po kayo about employee engagement, pwede nyo po siyang i-message using that link. Ang ganda nung, nung talk mo, Sir Jill, um, actually gusto ko yung part about being empathetic and talking to the employees. Even before, lagi ko ine-emphasize yan na yung communication, napakagandang tool niya an. It actually resolves a lot of problems if we only know how to talk. Mm-hmm. So, tanungin natin yung mga tao natin Makikita ko yan sa Philippines HR Group May mga nagtatanong Ano bang magandang activities? Ano bang pwede kong gawin for Christmas party? Guys, bago kayo magtanong dito Tanungin nyo muna yung mga empleyado nyo mm-hmm. They have ideas They will have suggestions They will have recommendations Sila po ang pinakamagandang tanungin Kasi sila yung maapektuhan dyan Kung magtatanong tayo sa nasa labas Hindi nila alam kung ano nangyayari sa loob ng company mm-hmm. Pero kung tatanungin nyo yung mga correct. Yes, correct. Kung tatanungin niyo yung mismo mga tao niyo na kung ang dami-dami niyo pong makukuha sa kanila. Ayan. So, Sir Jen, medyo iba-backstage po muna kita at may papasalamatan lang po muna tayong mga sponsors. Oh. And then I'll bring you back para po dun sa ating Q&A question. Okay po, Q&A question. Ano dandan? Q&A portion. Ayan. Okay po. Okay, so yung mga nandito po right now, uh, yung isa po sa ating mga sponsors, si Wikinix po, they are offering, they currently have a back-to-business sale up to 25% discount on selected items po. If you're within Metro Manila, uh, meron po silang free delivery for up to 5,000, uh, for 5,000 and up na orders. So 5,000 and up na orders po, pwede po kayo maka-enjoy ng free delivery. If you would like to send them or request for quotation for them, please visit their Facebook page or email them at sales at WOSPS or sales at wasps.com. Yun po yung kanilang email address. WOSPS, Wikinix Office Supplies and Printing Services. Kaya po WOSPS. Ayan po. Okay, so pag kailangan nyo po ng mga printing services or kailangan nyo po ng mga office supplies, po pwede po kayo dyan. Si Sir Renz, uh, ano, excited. Sino pong nanalo sa 25%? Wala pa Sir Renz. Mamaya pa after the webinar, okay? Um, Doon po natin babanggitin. Excited po sila kasi yan po yung mga umatan kanina ng HR Bootcamp. Kung alam nyo lang po kung gano'ng kakompetitive ang batch na yon. Diyos ko po. Okay, pwede pa pong humabol yung mga gusto pong maka-enjoy ng discount po for the HR Bootcamp Masterclass. Comment nyo lang po, hashtag Uprush HR Masterclass and tag three of your friends, friends and get a chance to win a 25% discount to our HR Bootcamp Masterclass Batch 1 happening on December 12 and 19. Winners will be announced at the end of this webinar. Ayan po. So yun pong mga nagtatanong may certificate Excuse me, may certificate po ba? Yes po, may certificate po. Pero, okay, you need to plug in yung atin pong tatlong, uh, tatlo pong uh, codes and yung sagot po sa question. So, pag nag, uh, mamaya po, pag inap na po na, uh, namin yung um, form, pag nakita, dinisplay ko na po yung link for the form, makikita nyo po na aside from the three codes, meron po kayong sasagutan na question. Kailangan nyo pong masagot yon, okay? Hindi ko po i-reflash yung mga codes. Kung gusto nyo pong malaman kung ano yung mga codes na yon, you have to watch the webinar again para mahabol yung po yung codes. The webinar will be uploaded in our YouTube channel. So, pwede nyo pong puntahan doon. Um, yung link po for the certificate po, available po siya up to Wednesday next week, okay? 
after Wednesday next week, pagtamang pagtama po ng 12.01, tinatanggal po namin yan. Okay? So, make sure po na before Wednesday, makapag-apply na po kayo. Wala pa pong third code. Huwag po kayong mag-alala. Kim Limpag. Wala pa po. Kalma, guys. Kalma. Wala pang third code. Ang third code po, mamaya pa. Okay? Napaka-competitive napaka ng ating mga audience. Ayan. Uh, reminders po, okay? Once na makapag-sign up na po kayo, makapag uh, fill out na po kayo ng form para po sa request ng certificate, please keep in mind that this will be distributed starting December 16. Yung last Saturday po, starting December 9 ang pagde-deliver. Okay? December 16 po yung para po this Saturday. Okay? Make sure po that your name and email address is correct. Oo nga, tam tama si Alexander. Ang dami excited ngayon. Yes, ang dami pong excited ngayon. So make sure po that your name and your email address is correct para hindi naman po magbabounce yung uh, certificate pag email po namin. Okay? May pinapasabi po si Miss Lynn Estidola. Okay? To see some of the engagement efforts of Sir uh, Jel Nolasco, you may visit and like the Facebook page of Guild Solutions Inc. So uh, hanapin nyo lang po, search nyo lang po ang Guild Solutions Inc. Sir Jel, baka meron po kayong mga job opening dyan. Baka po pwede mo pong i-discuss mamaya. Mukhang marami-rami po ang mag a apply po sa'yo. Okay po. So yun, wag po kayong mag-alala. Wala pa po yung ating third code. Okay, wala pa po. <laughs> Akala ko nawawala na yung third code. Okay, wala pa po. Kalma lang po tayo, guys. Okay? Yan po. Okay, so again, ito po yung LinkedIn page po ni Sir Jel Nolasco. Okay? Pero bago po lahat, pasalamatan din po natin ang iba pong mga pa partners po namin that made this webinar, free webinar possible po. And one of our partner is MoveUp. MoveUp is a learning platform. Um, they are focused more on uh, micro-learning. So po, pwede po kayo mag-undergo yan. Self-paced po yan. At hindi po yan masyadong kakain ng oras nyo. The, the topics there have been divided into um, smaller chunks para mas madali nyo pong matandaan. After you have undergone the training, you have to pass their exam. Once you pass the exam, kailangan 80% and up. Once you have that score, makukuha niyo po ang inyong certificate of attendance. Okay po? Uh, please watch this video regarding Move Up. At kung kayo naman po ay nangangailangan at gusto mag-invest uh, sa inyo pong online presence, domain name registration, website design, uh, app design, software applications, kung kailangan nyo po yan, meron na Yan po si Social Geekers, napindot ko kaagad yung video bago ko madiscuss kung sino sila. Yan po si Social Geekers, sila po actually ang uh, marketing, uh, online marketing arm po ng Uprush. Ayan, so para po ang laki-laking company ng Uprush Social Geekers, naku hindi po maliit lang po kami na company na ngayon po ay naka-work from home. Hi to my staff na sa mga sandaling ito ay tumutulong na i-ensure na ang atin, mo, atin pong mga webinars ay free at marami pong uh, nakaka-attend sa ating pong mga webinars. And we're also continuously trying to find ways on how to make these webinars better and more suited sa kung ano man po yung mga topics talaga na gusto nyo. So if ever you are looking for a topic or would want a specific topic to be featured for our free webinar, please let us know po. Okay po, message nyo lang po kami para maisama po namin kung ano man po yung topic na uh, gusto nyo po. Okay po, or napupusuan niyo po. Okay, so ibalik po natin si Sir Jel sa ating camera. Ayan, Sir Jel, ayusin ko lang po bakit mas malaki ako. <laughs> okay, ayan, pantay na po tayo. Okay, so Sir Jel, meron po tayo hmm. mga questions dito. Actually, kailangan ko mag-roll up dahil yung ibang questions po ay nalagpasan ko na. Medyo bumilis bigla yung pagtaas po <laughs> ng mga comments natin kahit hindi ko po. 
May pinapasabi lang po si Sir Alexander Zulueta, quarantine pass is real. Correct. Na lang at ano, graduate na tayo sa quarantine pass, pero ang Metro Manila po, GCQ pa din po tayo hanggang end of December. So, hindi pa rin po, hindi, wala pa pong vaccine na nadideliver sa atin at medyo um, hindi pa po nawawala ang, ang problema po natin kay COVID. So, ingat pa rin po, stay safe. And if po hindi po kailangan lumabas, wag na pong lumabas. Ayan. Tanong po ni, ni Sir Erlimson Perez, how are we going to encourage the employees without uh, with our, I think with our, with our activities without giving out prices? Um, again, balikan nyo yung ano ba kasi yung gusto nyo i-resolve. Hindi ba? Um, y- yung ibang company kasi, bigay, sin- bigay naman sila na bigay ng prices, pero hindi naman alam ko ano gusto nila ma-achieve, di ba? Um, kasi kapag namimigay ka ng prizes, anong kaibahan mo kay Kuya Willy? <laughs> Bigyan diba? ng jacket yan. <laughs> diba? I mean, there has to be something. So people are giving out um, incentives kasi they are ex- they're expecting something in return. Halimbawa, kung gusto mong mag- mag-encourage ng mga tao na matutong mag-excel, then organize um an 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 a mini session na maghanap ka ng ta- kung hindi mo ma-afford yung actually very affordable yung sa approach kung hindi mo ma-afford yun maghanap ka ng magaling sa team mo diba na uy ikaw magaling ka mag-excel why don't you um facilitate uh, an excel session doon sa team mo um tapos hindi man develop pa yung kanyang um facilitation skills. So, again, hitting two birds with one stone. Malay mo, gusto mo palang, gusto pala ng tao yung maging trainer. Hindi, hindi, hindi na, na-unleash mo pa yung, yung hidden potential niya. Again, hitting two birds with one stone. Um, correct, correct. Hindi kasi, ang danger kasi, kapag ikaw naman ay mahilig mamigay, you are actually creating a culture of, ano ba tawag doon? I can't find for the right word. Pero yung parang naghahanap sila lagi ng, ng bigay. Kapalit. Oo, oh, correct, correct. correct. And, and, and during times of scarcity like this, problema yung kulturang yan. Kasi maghanap talaga. Ano, ano nangyari? Hindi ba? Bakit? Tapos makikita mo, namomotivate lang pala sila kasi umaasa sila sa bigay. So instead of um, yung, yung culture ng company nyo na, na namimigay, why don't you start teaching? Alibawa, balikan natin si ano, mabilis lang, si um, Piandre. Sabi niya, ito e binig- binigyan ko na binigyan niyan. Gagamitin na nila gagamitin yung pera. It's it's a never ending ano, it's a never ending cycle. So ang, hindi kasi pera lagi ang solusyon. Um uh, Erlimson, um, may I suggest identify first kung ano yung gusto mong i-resolve. Kung ang nire-resolve mo ay attrition, I'm telling you right now, hindi contest, hindi pamimigay ng pera ang solusyon dyan. Sabi ng millennials, kaya sila umaalis, um, actually majority of millennials would rather work um, for a company with a cost for a lower pay than stay on their current companies. Halimbawa, ang kas, di ba? Um, makita nyo yung mga, mga, mga motorcyclists nila um, during a time na tinitira sila sa LTO. Um, for their franchise. Eh, eh yung mga taong yun, eh, pwede naman sila lumipat sa construction, di ba? Na, na, na will give them security of tenure. But no, they stayed with Angkas and sabi nila, um, eh, kasi naniniwala ako sa pinaglalaban nito. So sige, sasama ako sa pinaglalaban mo. So you have to ask yourself that question too. O bakit ito mga to hindi naman yun nga, wala na sweldo, di ba? Bakit, 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 ano, hmm. nilalaban pa rin nila yung call? Yes, oh. no company. So, so we as people leaders, again, kailangan meron tayong nire-resolve. Una, there needs to be something we're trying to resolve. Yes, kapag namimigay ka lang, you, 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 are, you are sponsoring false following, false loyalty. Hindi, hindi, hindi yun. Masyadong short term yung ganyan. Actually, meron ako nabasang study dito. Yung tinatawag nilang the paradox of the pizza. Kasi yung ibang mga companies, usually sasabihin na, ay, bumababa ang attrition, dumadami ang umaalis, the employees are not engaged, what do we do? And then top management will say, give them pizza. Give them pizza every Friday. <laughs> it's, yun yung sinasabi ni, ano, yun yung sinasabi ni Sir Jen. Number one, what is it that you're trying to resolve? Okay, ano ba yung problema? What's causing the problem? Okay? Kung yung problem na yon is answerable by your activities, 
Okay? What kind of activity should you have for that particular problem? Number two, what is it that your employees would like to have? Ano yung nag-motivate sa kanila? Okay? What, what, what will click with them? Okay? Kasi, nag-agree ako sa sinasabi ni Sir Jel, and I've actually seen a lot of companies na talaga super silang magbigay to the point na umabot yung mga employees na umaasa na lang sila. It, it's Instead of it being something that they should be thankful for, thankful for, nangyari is it's something that they were demanding na. Kasi, oh, nagbibigay kayo ito palagi, but ngayon wala. So instead of it actually improving engagement, it it uh, went the other way. Dahil may mga times na na-miss, hindi nabigay, bumaba lalo yung engagement. Kasi inaasahan na nila eh. Now, hindi na itay ni company yung activity doon sa kung ano ba yung gusto mong mangyari. Naging, naging ano na ngayon, naging demandable na siya nang walang in- impact sa engagement. Okay? Mm. So, ask yourself first, er- early son, yung mga questions na yun. Ano ba yung um, activity? Ano ba yung tinatry mong isolve? Ano ba yung mga activities? And ano ba yung gusto ng tao nyo? Okay? And then, try to find a way on how you can get everything to work together before you launch the engagement program. Otherwise, yun nga, pupunta tayo doon na they're just waiting for the prices. Pupunta lang sila pag may price. Pag walang mm-hmm. price, wala ka. Eh, hindi naman yun ang gusto natin mangyari. Ang gusto natin is maintindihan nila kung bakit tayo meron ng activity na yun. Okay? Si Miss Lubinel Blarmino, some leaders, they ask their staff when they see a problem with the performance. While, uh, may karugtong-tong, eh. while some, do not ask at all. Actually, oo, totoo yan. Mas marami pa rin, unfortunately, mas marami pa rin companies na instead of asking the employees, iba ang tinatanong nila. Okay? Um, instead of instead of asking the employee, oy, may nakikita kang problema. What's happening? Ano nangyayari sa'yo? Karamihan nandun pa rin sa, oy, may problema. May muhan nyo nga ito. Mm. And, di ba, sometimes it's it's not a good way to go about it. Hindi nyo nakikita kung saan ang gagaling yung employee nyo. Tapos, pina- pinapenalize nyo kagad sila for something that y- kayo mismo hindi nyo naiintindihan kung saan ang galing. What can you say po, Sir Jel? Unfortunately, tayo sa HR ang receiving end ng mga reklamong ganito. Ano? Uh, <laughs> so, minsan, ito na si galit na manager dadating. E, termin- kamukha na sabi ko, terminate mo yan kasi e, 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 hindi ko na siya mapagkakatiwalaan, etc. Et but, um, again, we have to be masters of negotiation. Um, apart from that, we have to be masters of root cause analysis. Kasi minsan, um, <laughs> hindi, hindi kasi nagets ni manager na minsan siya ang rason kung bakit nagkaroon ng ganong kultura. But then again, kung ganun na nga yung approach ni manager, hindi mo rin pwedeng kalabanin yun head-on. Na parang, eh, hey, ikaw ang rason eh. Kaya ganyan yan kasi ikaw. And of course, that will just create ano, um, a heated argument. So, mm-hmm. doon papasok yung expertise natin sa HR na nagpapaliwanag. In a very impatient, a uh, very patient manner, you cannot fight evil with another evil. Ano? Um, ah, huwag naman yun, masyadong negative. Um, you cannot be, uh, ay, hindi mo pwedeng labanan yung terror with another terror. So, you cannot be the very evil you're trying to resolve. So, kung ang nire-resolve mo ay yung init ng ulo ni kuya manager, you cannot be like that. Kasi kailangan makita niya, makita niya kung paano siya mag approach Kasi pag inaway mo siya, tawain ka din niya mag aaway kayo, wala nang mag-resolve. So, pag ikaw yung unang kumalma, and makita niyan, ah, okay, ganun pala yun, kakalma na rin siya. So, he, will, he or she will keep their defense at mga kapag-usap na kayo na maayos. Okay, correct. Agree. Sabi ni Miss Sara Bautista, how to overcome barriers in communication, culture discrimination, especially when you're new to work. Ayan. Mm, Any ideas for Culture discrimination. Paano kaya ang culture? Um, culture ba in terms of um, halimbawa ikaw, uh, regional ba? Ibig, ibig sabihin ikaw ay, ikaw ay bisaya tapos pumasok ka sa um, isang company na based in Manila tapos hindi ka makarelate? Ganun ba ang ibig sabihin? Kasi kung ganun, um, you have to, um, kung ikaw si HR, Aba, you, you need to know how to resolve that. Ano? You, you have to find a way. You have to find a common ground. Pero kung ikaw si employee, trying to push yourself 
uh, uh, trying to put your way in, um, you have to find common ground. Uh, ano ba yung, huwag kang mag-focus dun sa differences. Mag-focus kayo dun sa similarities. Ano yung pwede yung i-enjoy ng pareho? And, and, and for us Filipinos, malamang video ka yan. Kaso, bawal ngayon. So, um, so maghanap kayo ng way. Uh, tingin mo kung mare-resolve siya ng food, um, padala mo na food, kwentuhan mo ng buhay mo, you will find a common ground one way or another. Huwag mong iwasan. Because if you avoid people, lalo lang magkakaroon ng conflict. And hindi mo lalong makikilala yung tao. Lalo lang kayo magkakaroon ng animosity. Except if it's a blatant um violation of HR policies and procedures. Kaya nandoon yun kasi kailangan i-enforce yun. If you are being violated as a woman, I'm a very firm advocate of women's rights. Um, kapag ikaw ay na-violate and if your company is not listening to you, go to Dole. You need to assert your rights. Ayan. Si Ms. Luvinel po, may question po ulit siya. How do we deal with employees who always have negative comments on all engagement the HR or management is implementing. Gawin mo, siyang part, gawin mo siyang part nung committee na nag-organize nung, nung, um, nung um, pangalan nito, nung events. Malay Correct. mo, may, may point pala siya. Diba? Um, again, uh, we in HR, baba natin yung, yung ego natin. Ano? Um, we always have to trust people. No, ito, baka, huwag mo siyang tawagin yung reklamador. Because the moment you label someone as reklamador, um, ikaw na mismo yung gumawa ng barrier dun sa, dun sa communication nyo. So, hayaan mo lang siya. Kapag nakita niya na, na realize niya na, ah, kaya pala hindi pwede yun, some people are kinesthetic learner, eh, di ba? Kailangan ma-experience nila, ma- ma- makita nila firsthand. And ako, ganun eh. Um, until I-, I-, I realize na yung barrier pala ay ganun. At talagang marami akong assumption sa ulo ko. So, so baka itong taong to, Luvi, baka kinesthetic learner siya. He or she needs to experience firsthand kung ano yung problema. Kung ang, ang problema ay um, tao mismo, di hayaan mo siyang makita yun firsthand. Gawin mo siyang part ng committee. Mag- maglagay ka lang ng ng limits na parang, oh, ito, masyadong secret yan, hindi mo na pwedeng malaman yan. But the rest, sige, bahala ka. Um, and he or she will tell you pagkaya niya naman or hindi. So, making part of the, ano, the committee. Agree. Agree ako kay Sir Jel. Pero bago ang lahat, babanggitin ko lang muna yung sinabi ni Sir Jel na kinesthetic. Kanina po kasi sa HR Bootcamp, marami akong na, ano dyan, na biktima kanina doon sa kanilang <laughs> quiz. Nila kalagay doon sa quiz ay kinetic, kinesthetic po yung sagot. So, oo, marami nagkamali sa kanila doon. Kaya yung mga nandun po sa comment section natin ngayon na umaten ng HR Bootcamp, medyo allergic sila pag naririnig nila yung kinetic at kinesthetic. <laughs> <laughs> Pero agree ako doon, um, Louie, agree ako sa sinabi ni Sir Jel. And this is based on my personal experience. In one of the companies that I've worked with in the past, meron kaming tinatawag nila na ano si, si Boy Nega, si Boy Reclamador. Kasi sobra, sobrang mareklamo siya. Parang lahat na lang ata ng projects, initiatives, engagement, e- engagement programs, lahat may reklamo siya. Meron siyang pangkontra, meron siyang question, meron siya, alam mo yun, siya yung tipong inaayawan siya ng mga halos lahat ng tao sa company kasi ang dami niyang reklamo. Ang dami niya nakikita. So, noong, 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 noong nakita ko yun, um, Binigay ko sa kanya, actually, parang ano yun eh, kasi uh, biruan lang naman na nagsabi na, ay baka pwede natin gawin ito. So sa kanya, sige, ik- ikaw mag, mag, ano, mag, mag-head nitong program na to. Ikaw mag-spearhead ng program na yan. Etong budget, eto yung pwede mong gawin. Let me know what how you're going to turn this around. After noon, ang ganda ng project na ginawa niya, he, he, he actually handled um, one of the team building activities napaka-organized, napaka-ayos. And then after that, instead of being a negative person, he became one of the ambassadors of HR. And until now, he's a very close friend of mine. Talaga naman po na, alam mo yon pagdating po sa mga HR projects, siya, siya na yung nangunguna. At dahil sa kinatatakutan siya ng lahat dahil napaka-reklamo niya, napapamove niya yung mga tao. So pag sinabi niya, oy HR, nagsasalita, makinig kayo, aba, biglang lahat, uy, tatahimik, makikinig. From a negative person, naging ambassador siya ng HR. So, agree ako sa sinabi ni Sir Jel. Nagiging problema mo siya, bigyan mo siya ng responsibility. Kasi baka naman may point siya. Baka yung nire-reklamo niya ay meron palang pinanggagalingan. So, dahil na-gets ko, nakita ko na, na realize ko na may pinanggagalingan pala yung reklamo nitong 
tao na to, binigyan ko siya ng project, napakita niya ngayon na this is how it should be done. And it was very good. Okay, ang ganda ng ginawa niya doon. So baka yun yung makakasagot po sa problem mo. Oo, Rona, yes, may, may I just add, kailangan mo ng mga taong ganyan. You, you can't completely shut them off. Kasi these are, uh, ang, ang tawag sa kanila ay pessimistic, ano? Um, you need people like that in your organization. Bakit? Sila kasi yung nakakakita ng mali. Halimbawa, um, kapag, la- napanood nyo ba Inside Out? Mahilig kasi yung manood ng movies, pasensya na. So, um, um, kapag lahat kayo uh, toxic positive, hindi ba? Mm-hmm. Yung gusto nyo masaya lang kayo, ganyan. I, pag pinresent nyo <laughs> yung idea nyo sa iba, tsaka nyo lang marirealize na ang dami palang mali. Nagets nyo ba? So you need pessimists. Well, hindi naman toxic pessimists. Ano? You need pessimists in your organizations kasi sila ang magpre-prepare sa'yo sa pandemic like this. Sila yung, magsasa- sila yung mga weird kasi, di ba, na may suggestion na paano pag sumabog yung bulkan? Eh, at that time, parang, ano, bakit sasabog yun? Eh, sumabog nga. O at least ready ka. Diba? So these are the kinds of, of, of people that you need to tame and at the same time empower. Kasi uh, baka kasi may time silang maghanap ng mali kasi wala silang ginagawa. Eh, diba? So give them more responsibilities. And if they're not part of your team, again, engage the manager. Kasi pag sabi, uy, daming panahon yan mag-criticize. Sigurado ka bang maraming ginagawa yan? And it looks like magaling naman siya dun sa work na yun. Find work na naghahanap ng risk exposure. Ibig sabihin niya, naghahanap ng mali. Kasi dun siya magaling eh. Diba? So, so gawin mong career niya yun. Baka makakatulong sa company natin. Yung, yung sorry ah, nabasa ko lang si Alexander? Oo, so, si Alexander yeah. ito. Oh. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> Papagalitin Sabi na po niya. yan, panagkamali na naman ako sa pangalan niya. Si Alexander Sulweta Jr. Look, you don't need toxic positives and you don't need to- toxic negatives in your company. When you are 100% sure you have exerted effort to reach out to this person and wala pa din, that's what your company policies and procedures are for. Mm-mm. Correct. So yun nga, yung follow-up question ni Sir Alexander. Um, paano kung ayaw niya mag-member ng committee, sadyang magaling na magreklamo? Iba po yun, yung sinasabi ni iba Sir Jel. Iba po yung pessimist sa toxic pessimist. Kasi yung toxic pessimist, eto yung wala lang, makareklamo lang. Yung iba kasi nagrareklamo sa company nyo, may pinaghuhugutan sila. Pero yung makareklamo lang, ay, daanin nyo po ito sa disciplinary action. At i-ano nyo rin po, hensa pa nyo din po yung manager nila. Uy, bakit ganito ito? Ano uh, meron? Correct. Okay? Anong meron? Bakit natin, uh, bakit ito panay reklamo at bakit natin hinahayaan ito na mag-spread ng ganito? Anong meron? Okay? Yan po. Okay. Next question po kay Sir Alexander pa rin. Does peer evaluation ne- uh, necessary, uh, is peer evaluation necessary for performance evaluation of each employees? Um, actually, this is outside of, well, it touches on employee engagement, but it's more on performance management. Ang sagot ko po dito ay napakaganda po na merong peer evaluation. Tandaan po natin na lahat tayo, lahat, wala pong exemption. Even ako, even si Sir Jel, even yung pinakamagaling na tao sa buong mundo, lahat po tayo ay may biases. Meron po tayong tinatawag na unconscious bias. Hindi tayo aware na may bias pala tayo. Meron po noon. nag exist po yun based on our experience, based on what we have observed, based on what was instilled to us. We have biases, we have stereotypes, we have that. Okay? Importante, yun, importante po yun kasi it also helps us in our fight or flight response. Opo, uh, tandaan po natin yun. So, kaya meron po noon, ingrained po yun sa atin. To lessen the impact or the subjectivity ng biases na yun, okay? to, to lessen the impact of those unconscious biases, peer evaluation, 360 degree feedback, ay nakakatulong po para i-balance out. Ano yung nakikita natin? Ano yung nakikita na ibang tao? Ano yung nakikita nung nag, uh, directly nagsusupervise sa atin? At ano yung nakikita nung directly sinusupervise natin? Okay? It will give you, it, will, it might not give you the whole picture, but at least it will give you a better picture kesa doon sa isang tao lang ang nag-a-assess sa'yo. Okay? Kaya maganda, talaga, maganda palagi and I always recommend 360 degree feedback. Tandaan nyo po yung Johari window, si Johari, di ba? Uh, what I know about myself and what other know about me. What other know about me that I don't know about myself. What we both don't know 
and what we, we both know. Okay, so may mga uh, uh, combinations po yan. So kailangan natin isipin yun na baka meron tayong nami-miss out. So kailangan din natin yung feedback ng ibang tao. Sir Jean, meron ka po bang idadagdag? Most especially true, tama yun, most especially true for managers. They need to be numb um, sa feedback. In, in, numb na hindi manhid. Numb na um, they need to be used to pala. For, sorry, numb is not the right word. They, they need to be used to uh, feedback. Kasi kapag ang managers, uh, ang people managers, are not used to feedback, kasi na mag-improve. Um, and uh-huh. and um, yung, yung ego will... will, will Alam mo yun, lag, isipin na lagi sila yung tama. Um, and that will hurt your organization in the long term. Hindi kayo mag improve as an organization. And number two, iisipin nyo, lagi kayong tama. Um, and that is the downfall of Nokia. That is Uh-oh. the downfall of BlackBerry. That is the downfall of many organizations na hindi nyo na nakikita ngayon kasi akala nila lagi silang tama. So, um, again, listen to feedback, be, make it part of your heavily embedded dun sa inyong kultura. Um, listen to feedback, mag-schedule kayo nung, yung ba, nire-review nyo no talaga by heart yung feedback, else magiging stagnant your organization, magiging cost pa yun ng closure. Uh, believe me, we've, we've seen many companies go down that route. Correct, correct. Si Catherine po ay may question, how to draw a line between being approachable and being authoritative towards employees? There are employees po kasi na pag naging approachable ka sa kanila, they tend to be hayahay or nawawala yung respect as part of HR sa'yo. Ano po masasabi mo, Sir Jill? As As HR, we need to be always approachable. Okay? Kasi the moment we stop being approachable, the rest of the organization will be affected. Ibig kong sabihin, hindi pwede na... na um, na ang, ang ang approach mo sa isang tao ay maaapektuhan yung marami. Hindi ba? Um, tayo sa HR, kailangan makita tayo ng mga tao na someone who's ready to go out, to, to help them, to reach out. Alam mo yun, uh, masyadong utopian yung, <laughs> yung, yung, yung vision ko ng HR. Kaya lang yung kasing role natin eh. Hindi, kasi may nag-aalaga na, sabi ko nga, may nag-aalaga na ng computer, may nag-aalaga na ng pera. So, sino mag-aalaga sa tao? Malamang tayo yun. Ngayon, if this person is violating, and, you, you know, kapag ano na, um, OA na, that, again, that's what your discipline process is for. Ano ba yung reason? Hindi ba siya nagpe-perform? I, I, sabihin mo dun kay Kuya Manager, uy, si Kuya, ano, um, parang lagi na lang nandito sa HR, petics, ganyan, um, hindi, nagtatrabaho ba yan? So, pero, um, there are some, some, some other matters na, na i- violate kanila Again, um, as as a different person, yung, yung bang unacceptable, again, invoke the HR policies and procedures. Pero hindi ibig sabihin nun na magiging monster ka. Kasi the more na ginagawa ka ng mga tao na monster, ka, dapat nagre-resist ka. Um, kasi nga, pag, pag nag-transform na yung, yung pagkatao mo into someone they would like you to become, hindi yung gusto mong maging, sila ang nasusunod, eh di parang sinabi mo na rin na tama sila. So, dapat, pakita mo, no matter what, no matter what the weather is, kaya mong i-deal yung mga ganong tao. And hindi ka magbabago just because this person is violating that. Kilala nyo ba si ano, New Zealand Prime Minister, si Hasinda? She was criticized, oh, yeah. oh. She was criticized for being too soft kasi. Um, and then sinabi pa siya na ah, hindi ka magiging ano hindi ka magiging prime minister kasi masyado kang soft sabi sa kanya but she was and and, and she was reelected recently di ba um, and and for sure dahil babae siya maraming marami nagsabi na ah, hindi ka magiging pm but no she 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 ano she she turned many things around siya nga yung unang alam kong prime minister na nag maternity leave while on duty uh, while 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 on being pm ikaw ba nakarani ka na ng presidente nag ano nag uh, maternity leave di ba wala pa so, so, so siya yun siya yung siya yung unang ganun um so d- don't change just because some some e- well uh, hindi naman sa tinawag ko siyang demonyo no pero some evils are trying to change you into someone you would not like to become so Okay, magpa-apekto. Disiplina nyo lang siya. Ako naman masasabi ko dyan, um, pag kayo po ay HR, okay lang po maging approachable. Wag lang naman po masyado ng ano, open secret na lahat. Okay? Ay, okay, okay lang maging approachable. Professional. Wag lang kayo, professional pa din palagi. At higit sa lahat, 
never, never act out out of integrity o yung hindi labas na sa kung ano yung kinoconsider natin as integrity. Okay? Huwag kayong kikilos ng alam nyo makakasira sa integrity nyo. I learned all of this the hard way and I am telling you, huwag kayong gagawa ng bagay na makakasira sa integrity nyo. Okay? Be it relationship within the organization, friendship within the organization, how you handle the finances within an organization, always consider your integrity dahil yan lang po ang meron kayo pagdating sa pagiging HR. Yung integrity nyo po yung pinaka pinaka uh, matinding tool nyo po okay, na pwede nyo gamitin para pasunurin ng mga tao. Kasi pag alam nila na may integrity ka, susunod sila sa'yo. Pag alam nila na your word is law, susunod sila sa'yo. Okay? So okay lang po maging approachable. Huwag lang po tayo yung tipong sa sobrang pagiging approachable. Hala, binitaw, ano na, nakalimutan na ang confidentiality. Diniscuss na ang mga sweldo. Or dahil um, nasa labas kayo ng kumpanya, may nagreklamo sa inyo against a certain boss, ayan, naki, nakireklamo kayo, ayan, dyan po kayo magkakaproblema. Okay? So, lagi po natin iisipin, okay lang po maging approachable, pero tatandaan po ang professionalism at tataan, tatandaan din po, huwag niyo sisirain yung inyong integrity. Yung, yung integrity niyo po ay pinakamahalaga. Okay? Pag nakikita niyo na wala na pong respeto sa inyo yung mga tao, Okay? Kausapin nyo din po. Remind them that within the organization, I'm still the HR. Outside of the organization, biruin mo ko okay lang. But within the organization, please be careful It's with the jokes kasi po, HR pa din po. Okay? Usually, nangyayari yan sa mga bago pa lang na HR. Eh. Yan. Okay lang po yan. Normal po yan. Pinagdadaanan po yan ng lahat. Wala pong HR na pinanganak na, na, ano, na super pro professional na agad. At talaga naman po hindi makabasag, uh, hindi talaga makabasag pinggan pagdating po sa, or hindi nababasag ang salita pagdating po sa mga policies and procedures. Lahat mm. po tayo dumaan dyan. Okay? So, okay lang po yan, pero yun lang po yung tatandaan nyo. Okay? What if what you think is a better solution, but your employees think otherwise or differently? Paano po ba natin i-handle yun, Sir Jel? Measure the risk. Kung sa tingin mo walang effect kapag sinunod mo sila, ibig ko sabihin, kapag maliit lang ang risk, let them do it. Kapag malaki ang risk, you need to, calcul you need to calculate kung ano yung response mo. Um, halimbawa, if it will have serious financial impact, halimbawa, kung maaari kayo mawalan ng, let's say, 1 million pesos, dahil nakita mo na in your past, halimbawa, ikaw, ako, 40, close to 40 years old, tapos sila 22 years old pa lang. And what they think is best, pero nakita mo na in your past life many, many times that it will not work, and alam mo na mag-fail, you bring out your facts. Matalino naman ang mga bata ngayon eh. Uh, Makaka-google naman niya mga yan eh. So bigyan mo sila, look, kaya hindi pwede kasi ito o, oh, tingnan mo, ikaw mismo magbasa, sige. Um, pero kapag sa tingin mo, hindi naman malaki yung impact or walang impact at all, Kaya mo lang sila. Kasi you, you're, you're, you're allowing them to learn. Kapag pag ikaw kasi yung dada ng dada, sorry, kapag ikaw yung dada ng dada, hindi kasi ganun natututo yung iba eh. Di ba? Ako hindi ako natututo ah. ng ganun, nalilecturan mo ko. Let, let me feel um, what, what is reality. Doon kasi ako natututo. So, ganun, sila ma, ganun nila ma-realize na kung ano yung tama, kung ano yung mali. And mabibuild pa yung credibility mo. And, and, and millennials would prefer to be right there in the center of the action and for them to feel kung ano yung tama at mali by themselves. Measure the risk po. Yun din po ang sasabihin ko, measure the risk. And yung sinabi din ni Sir Jel kanina no nag-start siya, tanggalin ang ego. Kasi naman ba, kasi baka iniisip natin na ours is correct, pero ang totoo, baka may point naman din yung kabila. So, measure nyo po, timbangin nyo po, pakinggan nyo rin po yung kabilang side. Okay? Ay, sorry po. Next po, <laughs> uh, si, si Miss Carmen Sita po ulit. How do you engage employees that you know na kaya lang nagtatrabaho ay para sa salary nila? Um, what are you trying to resolve ba? Kasi kung hindi naman siya aalis, then wala kang i-resolve. Did you get where I'm coming from? If, 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 if they don't want to be disturbed in their own quiet lives, paka-introvert siya, hayaan mo lang siya. Um, or um, probe. Um, ask the five whys. Why, 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 why? Bakit ayaw mo mag-join? Why? Bakit ganto? Bakit ganyan? If eventually, ma-realize mo, baka parang ako yun, apat ang anak. So, ba bahala kay sa life nyo after 5pm eh. 
eh, eh, doon na ako sa family. Mm-hmm. Meron kasing ibang taong ganun, most especially the mm-hmm. Um, the previous generation, prior the millennials, na ang iniisip lang nila, work is work, life is life. Hindi nagahalo yun. Um, so, pag, pagdating sa kanilang alas 5, bala ka sa life mo. Um, hindi kasi uso naman dati engagement activities. Kailan lang yan? Um, so, for them, work is work, life is life. If, if, you're, if they're not, um, if your organization um, is, is okay as is, wala kang kailangan i-resolve doon. Kung ayaw nilang mag-join, meron talaga, kailangan mong i-accept yung fact na meron mga taong ayaw talagang mag-join. But, if they are already causing um, trouble, doon, kailangan ka may i-resolve. Kailangan mo nang mag-spend ng time. Bakit ayaw mo mag-join? Bakit? Ganto, ganyan. Or, ano, the, the better question is, ask that employee, paano ka ba makakapag-spend ng time sa mga tao? Usually, ang sagot niyan is during office hours. Hours, correct. Tama ako. Agree ako kay Sir Jel. Ngayon, uh, tatandaan po natin ha, um, hindi po, kasi minsan ina, ano natin, um, lalo na pag yung sa mga HR, pag mainit na ulo, ano ba naman to, nagtatrabaho lang kasi para sa mweldo. Hindi po masama yun. Lahat po tayo ay nagtatrabaho para sa mweldo. Mm-hmm. Tandaan po natin yan. Kaya tayo nagtatrabaho para sa mweldo. So let's not make it something na negative. Now, how do you engage the employee? It depends po. Tulad nga ng sabi ni Sir Jel, meron bang problema na kailangan i-resolve? Okay? Tayo sa HR, let's choose our battles. Kasi minsan iniisip natin, uy, baguhin natin to. Uy, ano natin ito? Kailangan ba? Sa dami ng ginagawa natin, okay? Kailangan ba natin gawin yun? Is it important and is it urgent? If it's not important and not urgent, Alisin nyo na yan sa plate nyo. Huwag nyo pong problemahin yan. Kung kunwari si, let's say, si, si employee A, nandun siya, papasok siya ng 8, uwi siya ng 5. He's not causing any trouble. Okay, yung performance niya, ayaw lang talaga niya ng mga party-party after Uh-oh. office hours. Baka naman, kailangan lang natin siya ilet go. Hayaan natin. Okay, kasi baka ganun talaga siya, ganun ang setup niya. May mga taong ganun. I agree with Sir Jel, may mga taong ganun. I've come across employees na, 501, nasa biometrics na, pa, pa-log out na, bye-bye, alis na ako, ganun siya. 55 pa lang. Oo, sila Honda. Huwag <laughs> namin, Honda, Honda dat, alis na kagad. Walang problema doon. Kasi yun naman talaga yung binabayaran sa kanila. Ngayon, kung gusto niyo silang umattend ng mga events, give them a reason to. Bakit sila attend? Ano ba yung motivator nila? So, intindihin nyo, saan ang gagaling itong mga to? At ano magpapaklik sa kanila? Okay? Do surveys, do focus group discussions, Talk to them. Communication is always the key para maintindihan nyo sila. Ayan. Sabi po ni Sir Rex Abenoha, what engagement program would you suggest to bridge multi-generation workforce with different um, interests? They have tendencies to group among themselves. So yung mga millennials magkakasama, yung mga baby boomers magkakasama, and the twain shall never meet. Ayaw po nilang mag-mix. Ano po ba ang suggestion yung Sir Jel? Um, I think, baka sabihin nila, itong si Jel pa ulit-ulit. Um, I think I will go back to the root cause of what you're trying to resolve. Um, you have to take a bird's eye perspective, uh, uh, tama, perspective, if they're grouping amongst themselves, is dangerous or not. Kasi baka wala namang problema. Kasi, tiktignan mo, sa skwelahan, ganun din naman eh. May barkada ka, di ba? So, you, you can't really blend with anyone eh. Kapag baka nga mapasama pa pag pinwersa mo eh. Um, the, the problem is, ay hindi pala, um, what you need to ask yourself is, if the if these small clicks are, are already trying to create problems, if they are creating problems, what kind of problem? Kasi baka hindi mo kailangan magkaroon ng engagement program to bridge multi-generation workforce differences. Baka ang kailangan mong i-resolve is how to resolve gossip. Baka yun kasi yung root cause. Ngayon, kung, kung, kung sa workforce mo, halimbawa, call center ka na kailangan uh, na labing um, sa isang team 15 kayo and the only way you could achieve a goal is to make them um, bata dito? make them work together. Um, basahin mo kasi isa-isa yung kanilang profiles. Um, kung, kung, kung ikaw ay may Facebook nila, 
pro tip, kung ikaw may Facebook nila or Instagram or, or any kind of social media na meron sila, try to take a look at their lives and see what's the common ground. Iba-iba, Rex, eh. you can, what, what may apply for me may not work for you. Like, for example, before pandemic, ang common denominator ng mga tao namin before sa ibang companies, again, video ke, because parang if you, pag in-invite mo lahat sa video ke, 90% of the time, sasama yung 90% eh. So so okay ka na doon. Um in some for for tech companies naman, what halimbawa um Telco sa Smart sa Globe, usually they have hackathons and I think may nagtanong si May what engagement programs you would Gen Z to bridge Gen Z and millennial hackathons. Sometimes that works eh. Pero that depends on your um organization minsan um team buildings outside of um work na yung bang walang distraction tanggalin mo yung cellphone yung mga ganun paakyat mo ng bundok patalunin mo yung isa hayaan mo sa lohi nila lahat you know you go back to basic sometimes <laughs> kasi talunan na talaga oo oh, oh, trust ano ta- trustful something <laughs> like that oo oo oh, 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 may may na experience ako ng ganun eh parang ako yung pinatalon sabi ko ah, wag ako mabigat ako so sa so, siya na lang sige sasaluhin ko na lang siya so, nagtawanan yung team um pero pero you know it's 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 a good um the best way kasi is to spend um to spend time outside of work baba lahat ng defenses noon eh um and to schedule it way ahead of time para yung may mga yung may mga parents like me makapag makapag arrange ng um yung mag, mag, makakapag alaga ng anak nila or pag may again pag maiiwan yung asawa mo may kakainin na sila buong weekend hindi na sila mag alam mo yun again eliminate the distraction so um madami and 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 i think um that that needs a tna uh, training needs analysis kung gusto mo talagang i-bridge yung uh, multi-generation workforces new um and i think rona can help you with that there's no one straightforward answer to that uh, we need again we we need to go back to basics number one ano yung nare-resolve mo number two yung nare-resolve mo mag- magkaiba kasi yung root cause at saka yung gusto mo ma-achieve so kailangan mag-join yun pag nag-join na yun saka kayo makakapag-develop kung ano yung strategy nyo and check with them as well ano ba yung gusto nila kasi baka naman ano baka naman um, you're trying to bridge multi-generational workforce pero sila um, may, may, may mga sarili-sarili rin naman silang uh, grupo na gusto nila na dun muna Okay, mm. kasi doon sila safe. So, baka kailangan mo muna ang uh, i-encourage sila or make them feel na safe sila na getting to know each other. Okay, marami kayong pwedeng activities diyan. One of the things that we've done in the past is sa akin sa amin kasi we we gamify things because I came from a mobile gaming company. So, we're very much into gaming regardless na kung ilang edad ka na, kung ilang taon ka na. And we've had we've had boomers in our company. We have millennials, we have zillennials. Um, ang ginagawa namin is we try to inculcate gaming principles into the different programs that we had. We have, we had actually past tense na kasi wala na yung company right now. But ang ginagawa namin is meron kaming set of activities na for the millennials, may set for, of activities for the introverts, the extroverts, people who are good with, with games, people who are not so good with games, people who prefer board games. So iba-iba. Okay? And then each time that we have a, an event, iba na iba yung binibigay namin sa kanila. But before we do that, we do surveys para naiintindihan namin. Anong gusto mo? Anong ayaw mo? Anong the last na event? Ano yung nagustuhan mo? Ano yung ayaw mo? So doon, doon namin binabase lahat. Hindi kami nag-guess work. Hindi kami nanguhula. We ask them directly. So that might help you. Okay? Sabi ni Sir Marlo Huranyo, a while ago you stated about the downfall of Nokia and Blackberry. What do you think are the cause of their downfall? Actually, in cause of their downfall, as uh, a surgeon. No, I, I, I don't want to, to. I don't want to pretend to be a, a, a an industry expert, but um, where are they now? I mean, Nokia used to be at the forefront of uh, mobile technology. BlackBerry was was very good in the late two thousand, late by or early two thousands. Asa na sila ngayon? Um, um, Nokia, kasi resisted the idea if I'm, if my memory serves me right resisted the idea of a smartphone yung pinaka smart nila is yung N92 tas after noon wala na um BlackBerry also resisted the idea kasi gusto nila na sarili nilang mga OS when in fact um nag-unify na yung yung Samsung and all the other um ang pangalan nito um mobile phone makers at that time para kasi alam nilang kailangan din ng labanan yung Apple and the only way to do that is to back Google 
Android's um, platform and ayaw ni Nokia and ni BlackBerry kasi sabi nila security threat. I think that, 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 that again that's that's what I remember. Um, but you know you have to follow where the market goes. I mean that, that's a completely different topic. But the bottom line is feedback. Ano ba yung feedback mm-hmm. ng market? Kahit hindi mo naman tanongin, makita mo sa sales mo, pababa eh, di ba? So, bakit pababa yung sales ko? Kailangan nag-iisip ka na, bakit pababa? So, before pa mag-complete downfall yun, you have to understand what's going on. And and, and as a responsible manager, kailangan um, alam mo na kung ano yung background, yung may, may plan B ka na kung, kung ano yun nangyayari. Unfortunately, Nokia's and BlackBerry's plan B is just to court yung B2B. Naging business ano na lang sila ngayon. So, Nokia is providing um, um, pangalan nito, hardware for 5G. BlackBerry is providing servers for emails, kundi ako nagkakamali. So, nag-iba na lang sila. Para lang siguro ma bumalik sila doon sa confident level ng business nila. But, um, what, I'm, what I was trying to drive at earlier is they used to be at the pinnacle, at the top of their games. Tapos bigla silang nawala. If they were able to sustain that, sayang. Um, baka sila yung, baka, baka mas malaki pa rin yung Nokia ngayon um, versus Samsung. Um, if they only listened doon sa feedback ng market by way of sales or by direct feedback. Oo. And then it's a problem of adaptability. Eh. Aside from not listening to the feedback, they're already seeing what what iPhone is doing. Um, pero ayo pa rin nila mag-adapt. Mm-hmm. Hindi sila kagad nag-adapt. Kaya ayun. Um, hindi sila nag naka-adapt to the smartphone. Nag ano, nag nagsara tuloy. Nawala tuloy sila sa market. So, ngayon pag may Nokia ka, hindi ka na ganoon ka-cool. Ngayon ang cool is pag if you have iPhone or the latest Samsung and even the latest Huawei. Pag yun phone mo, you're cool. Pero uh, dati, um, pag may Nokia ka, latest Nokia, Nokia ay, nako, napaka, napaka, yeah. at, at alam mo yan, Sir Jel, ito ang ating mga yeah. kapanahunan. Kapanahunan ng ano, nagkocompose ka pa ng sarili mong ringtone. Ayan, ngayon, wala na, wala na tayong ganyan. Okay, so I think nasagot na po lahat ng mga questions. Uh, wala na ata akong na-miss. Ayan, may, sabi ni Miss Farida Kunanan, work is work, okay lang hindi nag-uusap, pero pagdating sa trabaho, hindi pwede, hindi mag-usap, dapat mag-usap. Otherwise, this is to the detriment of the organization. True, communication is very, very important po para mag-succeed po ang isang organization. Yung mga friends ko sa ibang company, iniiwasan ako kasi nasa HR ako, they don't want to be tagged as friend ko. Pero when we go out, we are teasing each other hanggang mautas. Ayan. Pero mga number one supporters ko sila and I love them. Naku, bilang HR po, kailangan, kailangan po talaga na meron tayong squad. <laughs> meron tayong mga you group of people that. na talagang pusupon yes. sa atin. Oo, kasi napaka-stressful ng trabaho natin. Ayan. Sabi ni Miss Luvinel, yung choose your battle mantra ko ngayong 2020. <laughs> Laking tulong yan sa akin. Yes po. HR, marami na po tayong sakit sa ulo. <laughs> Sakit sa ulo po minsan ng boss natin. Sakit sa ulo yung mga department heads. Huwag na po nating dagdagan na sakit ng ulo natin. Kung walang problema, di ba sabi nga nila, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Ayan. Nokia, ha ha ha, napaghahalata ang mga edad. I, 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 ano, I, I would like to call on my right against self-incrimination. Okay. Ayan po. Sabi ni Ms. Carmen Sita po ulit, how will you determine your limit in helping your employees with their personal lives? As HR po, limit nyo lang po sa kung anong nakaka sa trabaho. Pag ito po ay hindi nakaka-apekto sa trabaho, as much as possible, wag po tayong makialam. Kasi um, yung pag meron po silang problema, kung may problema man po yung mga empleyado at gusto kong makinig si HR, make sure po na may outside of work na po pag personal problems yan. At makinig lang po tayo ha, careful po tayo on what we say, how we handle it kasi minsan nakakalimutan ng mga tao na meron pa tayong life outside of HR. So minsan kahit na nasa labas na tayo ng company, ang tingin pa rin sa atin HR, pag nagsalita tayo, they sometimes take it as a policy na. So ingat-ingat po tayo dyan. So ako ang, ang naging mantra ko na po uh, lately is if yan po ay personal na problem at wala pong epekto sa performance, uh, mamaya na po natin pag-usapan after work na po. Okay? Kasi yan po ay hindi na po personal. Or kung wala kong kailangan-kailangan mo na po, I would suggest na kausapin niyo po is yung pong kaibigan niyo po. Kasi sa HR po, ang matutulungan ko lang po kayo pag meron pong impact sa trabaho. Ayan. Para nasiset niyo rin ang boundaries niyo at hindi kayo nababurn out kasi kayo po ang mababurn out. Okay? 
So, yan po. Ano pa ba po? Meron pa po ba tayong mga na-miss? I think wala naman po. Nasagot na po lahat ng mga dapat masagot. So, bago po natin i-end ang atin pong... Um, Ang ating pong webinar this day, kailangan na po nating pumili ng winner po para po dun sa ating 25% discount. Ayan. Congratulations po kay Ms. Sharon Oliveros, Mega SDRO. Ikaw po ang nanalo ng 25% discount for our HR Bootcamp Masterclass. Congratulations, Ms. Sharon Oliveros. Ayan po. Huwag po natin siyang kalimutan na i-congratulate. Um, Monica, pakisabihan na lang po siya. Ayan, siya po ang nanalo. Okay, so Miss Sharon po, paki, um, please get in touch with us para po mabigay po namin sa inyo. Or send po na lang po ng emails, mag-send na lang po ako ng email sa iyo about your price. Ayan po. Okay po. And then po, para sa mga naghihintay, kanina pa po talaga sila nag-aantay. Ayan, tungkol po sa nakatuwa po sa HR, may mga sanib po. <laughs> Wait lang, naaliwa ko sa sinabi ni Miss Ellen. Nakakatuwa sa HR, parang may mga sanib po. May iba-ibang personalities na flexible Ay, oo naman po. Okay? Uh, actually, ang mga tao, yung mga taong inaalagaan natin, yung mga tao sa organization, tayo may pinakakomplikadong uh, trabaho. Tulad nga ng sabi ni Sir Jel, yung, yung mga computers, magka-virus, mag -out, maging out of date, palitan, madali lang po yan. Yung pera ng company, basta, um, basta may pumapasok na pera, alam kung saan napupunta ang pera, walang problema. Pero tayo ang hawak po natin tao. Hindi po ito katulad ng computer na kung paano kayo mag-reformat, ganun po i -re reformat lahat ng PC sa opisina. Sa atin po, kung paano po ang treatment natin kay employee A, hindi po yung same kay employee B. Dahil baka magkaiba po sila ng problema. Napaka... Uh, napaka-challenging po ng role natin. Minsan, nagkakaroon na po tayo ng multiple personality. Okay? Huwag masyadong kausapin ang sarili. Okay? Sabi ni Sir, uh, sabi ni Des Cruz, last code po. Galit na po siya. Sorry po. Eto na po ang last code para po sa mga nag-aantay. Huwag niyo na po ako hawayin. Third code po natin for the day. Kunin na po yan. Ayan po, ang third code po. Okay? Sa mga hindi po nakahabol ng first code at second po code, ipopost po natin ang ating po uh, YouTube. Uh, sa YouTube po ang ating recording for the day. Pwede nyo pong i-review po ulit doon yung ating pong video para mahabol nyo pa po yung mga ibang codes. Pero for the meantime, ito po ang ating third code. Okay, so habang naka-flash po ang ating third code, yung mga iba po na gusto na pong mag, uh, nakuha na po ang third code at gusto na pong mag-send in ng request, Ito na po ang inyo pong QR code para kayo po ay makapag-send in ng request. Ayan, kunin lang po ang inyong cellphone, hanapin po ang inyong QR code scanner, scan po ang code para kayo po ay makapunta po dun sa form kung saan po kayo po pwedeng mag-request. Kung hindi nyo po ma-access, huwag po kayong mag-alala kasi ipopost din po namin ito mamaya doon po sa event page po natin. Event page po ah, hindi po Facebook page. Hanapin nyo po yung uh, event page. So, punta po kayo sa page ng Uprush and then hanapin nyo yung events. Pag kinlik nyo po yung events, lalabas po lahat ng events for the day at yung mga upcoming events po namin. Click nyo po yung event for today, yung atin pong free webinar. Doon po nyo makikita doon under sa discussion tab. Okay po. So, ayan. Uh, sabi po ni Miss... Leonora Dumagat, HR people is the most controversial and unpopular in the organization but very fulfilling. Kasi po, tayo po yung taga-implement ng batas. Kaya minsan, medyo negative ang tingin sa atin. Pero pwede nyo po i-turn yan into something positive basta marunong po kayo makipag-usap sa mga empleyado. I realize na pag kayo po ay magaling makipag-usap at truthful po kayo, mag-gain nyo po yung trust ng mga empleyado nyo at yung mga empleyado nyo po mismo ang lalaban para sa inyo. Ayan, handling, handling the most important resource of a company. Opo, tayo po yan. Palakpakan po natin ang ating mga sarili dahil buhay pa rin po tayo kahit ilang buwan na po ang, uh, ang quarantine. Kinakaya pa rin po natin. Naalala nyo po ba nang mag-start ang quarantine? Di ba, muntik na po tayong hindi makatulog dahil sangkatutak na COE ang pinrint po natin <laughs> dahil biglang kailangan ni COE para mag-travel ang mga empleyado. Diba? Kinaya po natin yun. Kinaya natin nang biglang ang management ay mag-announce na mag-re-release 
ng 13th month ng maaga para po matulungan ng mga empleyado. Bigla po tayong nag, ano, naging mabilis sa pagkukompute ng 13th month. Kahit na may mga questions pa, anong isasama, anong hindi. Kaya natin yan. Adjust na lang natin sa end of the year. Yan. Yung mga bigla pong nag-release ng early payout ng salary, kinaya po natin ng start ng, uh, ng start ng quarantine. So good job po tayo dyan. At kung hanggang ngayon po ay nasa HR pa rin po kayo at patuloy pong naghahanap ng ways on how you're going to keep your employees engaged, dun pa lang po. Good job. Pat on the back. Kapikin nyo po ang inyong mga likod, palakpakan nyo po ang inyong mga sarili dahil... Hanggang ngayon po, HR pa rin po tayo at nandun pa rin po yung ating concern sa mga empleyado. Kahit nasisigawan na po tayo, napapagalitan na po tayo at kinukulit na po tayo sa final pay, sa COE, sa kung ano pa man po, lumalaban pa rin po tayo. Okay po. So, ayan. ayan. So, maraming maraming salamat again. Uh, Sir, Je Sir Jel, meron ka po bang any last words for our viewers for today? Don't forget to take care of yourself. Uh, kasi, um, di ba sabi ko sa inyo, compassion is the biggest word for um, COVID-19 pandemic. Pero huwag niyong kakalimutang alagaan yung sarili niyo. Kasi if you don't, how can you, again, doon sa, doon sa unang premise, di ba? You must be engaged to engage others. So take care of yourself first before you're able to take care of others. Else, Um, gaya ng kamukha ng sinabi ni Rona kanina, mababurn out lang kayo, um, lalo kayo may hirapan. So, take care of yourself first. Um, kung meron kayong unang kailangang maging mas lenient, yun ay sa sarili nyo. Correct. Don't be too hard on yourself po, guys. Tayo po ay uh, ginagawa natin lahat na makakaya natin. So, wag po kayong masyadong hard pag, pag, pag for example, hindi yung resulta ay hindi tulad ng ini-imagine natin. Okay, huwag masyadong maging hard. Uh, tap, 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 ano lang, pag, 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 pag lang, bangon ulit. Okay? At ingatan po ang sarili, ingatan po ang mental health. Napaka-importante po niya. Lalong-lalo na po sa HR, tayo po yung pinakamadaling mabiktima ng, ano, ng burnout, ng mental health problems kasi tayo po yung parang kinakarga po natin lahat ng problema ng company. Eh. Tayo yung batuhan eh. From management, from employees, sa atin bumabagsak lahat. So take care of yourself. Hindi ka po pwedeng magmahal kung ikaw mismo ay hindi mo mahal ang sarili mo. Ganun din po yun. Hindi mo po maaalagaan ang mga tao kung hindi mo rin po inaalagaan ang sarili mo. So take care of yourself first before you can take care of others. Okay po? Ayan. Sir Jel, maraming maraming salamat po for spending your afternoon with us. Marami po kaming natutunan sa iyo at nag-enjoy po kami na pag-alaman tuloy kung ilang taon na tayo <laughs> na-realize nila dahil ay yung mga reference movies ay yung mga kapanahunan natin. At ang reference companies mo ay mga kapanahunan natin. Uh -huh. <laughs> Ayan. Ayan, na, na booking tuloy tayo. Ayan. So maraming maraming salamat po again dun po sa mga nakinood na naman po sa atin this Saturday. I hope you learned a lot from Sel Sir Jel po. We'll send you yung pong uh, copies ng uh, slide po niya and we'll also give you the link for the video. Maya maya lang po, tingnan nyo lang po doon sa Facebook page po natin. Okay, ang certificates po, yung last Saturday, ang follow-up po is December 9 onwards, yung certificate for today, ang follow-up po ay December 16 onwards. Any follow-up in between, hindi po namin niya masasagot kasi December 16 pa po ang start. Okay, hindi na po namin niya masasagot o hindi na po namin yan papansinin. Okay po, para naman po, hindi naman masyadong stressed out si Monica, ang ating pong um, taga-organize itong ating mga free webinars. Okay? Ayan, Monica, tignan mo ito. Oh, thank you daw po, sabi ni Arlene. Ayan, yes po, si Monica po ang nag-a-arrange ng ating mga free webinars. Kaya ayan, pasalamatan din po natin siya. Okay? Thank you, At last Monica. word po, for the day, sabi ni Sir Zulueta, you cannot give what you do not have. Ayan. So again po, maraming maraming salamat everyone. And hope to see you next Saturday. Maganda na naman po ang topic natin next Saturday. Sabi ko dapat ngayon yung ano natin, ang guest natin ay state side kaso hindi po state side uh, medyo <laughs> nag ano po nagkaroon po ng problema sa ano sa kanyang schedule buti na lang po at ready ready si Sir Gel po uh, so maraming maraming salamat po yes Sir Len see you po in our master class Sharon Miss Sharon Olivares see you po in our master class goodbye everyone and enjoy your weekend po bye bye
Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.